Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sorry about, oh, sorry, I was waiting for myself to come on the screen. Sorry, our screens aren't working this morning. I've got all blue in front of me. I was waiting for me to see myself before I said hello. Um, it will sort itself out. It's decided to suddenly do an update and we're on 85%, but it's been, anyway, if I keep looking, that means during the show, I'm going to have to be doing this a lot because that, my screen that is over here is working, but the screen isn't, this is really weird now, talking to you and all I can see is a big blue screen. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hannah's back. Hannah's back, everybody. Woo! Only for two days, then she got another break. Anyway, she can only do two days at a time. Would you like to... Now, I didn't know this was allowed to be an early bird. I thought this was being saved. But anyway, today's early bird is 80-20 wadding, right, by the half metre. Now, it is by the half metre on the roll, isn't it? It's not a cut piece, is it? No. We're just double-checking, just double-checking. But anyway, it's 80-20 wadding. It's 100 inches wide, look. You wouldn't sell it, wouldn't sell it or decut, look, we wouldn't want that, because who'd want that? Who'd want that? I've heard that enough times, haven't I? Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Uh, 
I know it is today's early bird. Here we go. Five nine ten. I'm just going to lean over this way to read it. Early bird special, cotton mix wadding, 80-20, light and soft blend. Save a pound, save a pound, save a pound, save a pound. So that's on half a metre, right? Yeah, it comes off the roll, so you can have whatever you want to have. I oh, know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Normally sells at 6 99 and when we do do it at 6 99 it normally sells out. So lots and lots of you there on the phone line straight away. Lots of people popping it in their baskets. What you need to do is, one, you've decided... What, now, remember... We sell in half metre increments. So if you want three metres, you need to put six increments in. If you want two metres, you need to put four increments in. Uh, or just ring, excuse me, or just ring the call centre. I'm overexcited. I'm taking too many breaths in, aren't I? We're up to 89% now. Should be all right in a minute. Uh, 5.99, 5.99. Now, I know it's not much to look at, but once you've, done, once you've bought it and you've checked out, that is your P&P done for the day. So even if you come in and get a 5.70, A, Late eight, later on, that's your P&P completely and utterly sorted for the day. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? So anyway, here we are. You're saving a pound, 5 for half a metre. While you're checking out, I'll just do a few messages because I can see there's loads already. Sue says, good morning. Beautiful morning, she says. Leslie says, good morning. Glenny says, good morning. Um, cousin Susan says, good morning. It's a beautiful summer's day. Uh, Leslie says, hello. Uh, Jackie Jack says, hello. I'm on half turp. I'm on half term, so I can um, have a lovely long breakfast. Uh, Paula says, good morning. Isabel says, good morning, question mark. Jackie says, morning, lovely sunny day here. Jan says, morning. Mary Jane says, morning, everyone from New Zealand. New Zealand. Uh, Margaret says, good morning. John, Hannah and Emma, have a wonderful day. Uh, uh, she says, good morning, I missed you all. That was from Hannah. Emma just grunted. Good morning, John and the team from a cloudy Aberdeen. Laurie says, good morning. Welcome back, Hannah. Sue says, good morning, John. Julie says, good morning, John. Let's go up, up and away for the day. You see, up. Oh, my picture. Oh, now. Now, I've now got a picture, Emma, just so you know, of like trees and a castle. And it says 2.04 a.m. on Wednesday, the 2nd of June. Okay. So, uh, what does Judith says, good morning. Leslie says, good morning. Uh, Julie says, morning, uh, John and team. I hope you got the air con on today. I, well, it was a bit hot yesterday. Uh, Galen Scott got, got her early bird. Good morning, gorgeous man, says Denise. Wendy says, morning, working from home today, so I can enjoy being with you. So can we get this screen sorted now, please? Is that possible? Oh, OK. I'll message on the bottom. I've got to read it this way, I'm afraid. Oh, I love your shirt. So I love your shirt, John. So, oh, hang on. No, it's gone. Uh, from Susie. Thank you, Susie. Hot air balloons, like me. Wadding is usually made for you know, uh, doing your quilts, for your quilt sandwich, for your back of your cushions, for anything like that. It's not adhesive, it's just your normal 80-20 batting. We normally sell it in a roll at queen size or king size or crib size, but this way you can choose exactly how much you want. Remember, it's, a hundred, well, it's 244 centimetres wide, so it's 100 inches wide, so it's fantastic value for money. You could, you could use it for Helen Newton's free motion quilting. I would, most people go for H640 for that, but you totally could use it. What you'd need to do is you would need to do another layer, I think, though, wouldn't you, just to, um, just to make it... Oh, hang on. Emma's out now. She's going to fix it. She's got her sassy little shorts on today. Oh, here we go. What's the, what's the, what's the code? I'll go find out. Oh, no. This, this is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? No, it just shows we can't function without Elliot, doesn't it? Um, Margaret says, morning, John and gang. Looking fab as ever. Thank you, Morag. Wonderful morning, John and team. Veronica says, morning from Grimsby. Anne says, morning, John and all. Fabulous shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Right. OK, uh, there you go. I'll come back to this during the day because obviously it will, it will sell out today, our alloca allocation, because it's so always so popular. And you are saving a pound for every half metre you buy. See, a hundred have gone already. A hundred have gone already. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening now? It's gone black. Uh, panel of the week now. This was really, really... It's just switched off now. Pa oh, no. Panel of the week. Panel of the week. This was very popular. It's called Marmalada. Marmalada. Uh, this is uh, exclusive to Sewing Street. You know what the panel of the week is. We bring you a panel 
We reduce the price. Look at the price. Look how much you're saving. Oh, they've not put it on the graphics. You're saving eleven pounds. Yeah, eleven pounds you're saving. I launched this yesterday. Eleven pounds you're saving. They said they were going to put it on the graphic. No. So anyway, look. What you what it is is you know we we sell the design rolls normally. Well, these are, are half a right. Like, let me show you. They're all two and a half inches wide. I'll fold it in half. So you get all of those that way, right? So they're all two and a half inches. You get the fried eggs. You get the little cake, uh, not cakes, little um, flowers. The uh, essence of all Achille leaves uh, in the different cut. Then look, turn it over and you get all of these. They're 27 inches you get of each one. Big flowers, little flowers, more all uh, essence of. And then wheat sheaves there. Saving 11 pounds. 11 pounds, I know. It's nice, isn't it? We love the colours. We love the colours. Look. Uh, Bernie says, morning. John Scott and all, what a lovely day. Helen B says, morning, another sunny day. The trouble is, we're in a studio with no windows, no nothing. It could be doing anything outside. Morning, John and all, says Stuart, looking fab, another fabulous day. Good morning, John and team, says Sue. Jackie, how's your Dave? Oh, Jackie's Dave's in hospital with sepsis. I hope he's all right. Anyway, beautiful. This is your panel of the day. And week, 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 week. Now, remember last week's, now you've got to remember last week sold out. Last week sold out. We were going to try and get more, but we couldn't sold out. So please be careful. If you definitely, definitely want this, you need to check out now. Beautiful. Right, let's do le menu now. Let me just fold that one up. So today's menu is, and right now, 8 o'clock. I might have a bit of confession to make on behalf of Hannah in a minute. We've got Little Darlings and Critters Woodland Fabric at 8 o'clock. Brand new fabric. But also in this hour, I've also got some uh, animal print fabric. I've also got some of that gorgeous, gorgeous um, tapestry fabric. Not much of it left now. Nearly sold it all, we did. Then at 9 o'clock, now we're doing two... Oh, actually... We've got Helen Newton Sea Cushions launch. We've actually, we're actually launching two cushions. One is already made, which is called Under the Sea. That one's already made. And then the one that Cara's going to be doing is called Buckets and Spades. But we haven't got that one made yet because Cara's only sent one kit. So she hasn't made it yet. She's going to make it during the show today. They're beautiful. We can show you a picture of it though. Not the finished thing, obviously. Oh, weirdly, we can. Oh, he's, oh, good. They've moved ward so um, Jackie can visit, a, book a visiting slot. That's good. Oh, I'm so glad, Jackie. We have to go to hospital. You can't just turn up in visiting, Anna. You have to book a slot, don't you? Here's the other one. This is the one that Cara will be making on the show. Who took that picture, do you reckon? Oh, uh, Okay. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Then at 10 o'clock, <laughs> Hannah's favourite kits revisited. Mind you, she's not been in, so she won't know any of them, will she? She's not been in. Then at 11 o'clock, she has put some panels in there that she likes. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Easy Bow Bag, designed by Beth Studley, made by Cara. We've got three different colourways there. Isn't that cute with the panda? Pandemonium, that is, from... Um, not Eartha Kit. Eartha Kit didn't design it. It was it. Tula Pink. Tula Pink. Tula Pink. Uh, then, of course, we say goodbye to Sewing Street. We run all the way down the street to Yarn Lane. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Then at 12... I'm so excited to see how you see. 12 o'clock, Yarn Lane. We've got Tapestry Crochet with Sam Sabido. Now, um, it's on pre-order on Yarn Lane if you want it. Has it got pictures of the finished things? Oh, it has. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute then. We'll have a look. So, first of all, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is send me an email, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is by um, talking to me on Facebook Live. Uh, so, Isabel says, very best wishes to Jackie's day for speedy recovery. Marina says, morning, gorgeous. What day is it? Where am I? Oh, Marina did a huge... Well, she cycled. She did a huge cycle for charity at the weekend in Suffolk. Anyway, the home it took them nine hours to get home yesterday. And I said, did you cycle? She went, no, the M25 was a nightmare. Um, so that's the second way. Third way is you can go to the website. 
So here we go, the website, you click on watch the live show, and then there'll be a picture of me on the left. See on the right hand side there, this telly's still not come back on yet, um, Emma, just so you know. Okay, uh, on the right hand side there, there is a white box, you can write your message in there. Now, she could be writing anything, because I haven't got my screen, I can't see what she's saying. Ah, oh. There you go. And she watched us at home on the telly. And did you, did you see us talking about you at all? Okay. Click on send message and that will go through. And there the white boxes appear underneath. Right. Scroll down the page. Then there's the early bird. There's the early bird there on today's show deal. So anything that we've already shown you will be on today's show deals. However, the next four hours of Sewing Street are all on pre-order. Right, now, uh, with this might do funny things to us. If it does, we'll just go to the yarn lane one in a minute. So there's all the fabric for the first hour. Beautiful new fabrics there. Mega bundle. And then, oh, we've got those lovely Chatham Glynn uh, animal prints. We've got the um, tapestry prints there. Beautiful, aren't they? Really, really lovely. And there's the animal print there. Then we move on to the cushions. Look, oh, they've done it with pictures, look. You can buy either of the kits or the pattern. And there's all the tools that Carl, there's Roger. All the tools that Carl will be using. Oh, look, that light box has moved up to there now. Then, that, now, then when we're going into Kits Revisited, which are all these lovely kits, they're all available now. If you want to buy them now, if you can't stick around all morning, just buy them, just buy them there. Um, that's a bit misleading. You don't get a whole roll of H640 then. There's, uh, what's name? Angela Presley's bag. Oh, I don't know what that is on the right-hand side there. What's that? Vi oh, Village Fabric. Oh! Yes, of course I know what that is. Of course I know what that is. Cup of Tropicana, drinks are free. Panels. Panels. And then we move into... We're still on Kits Revisited. It's a very big hour. Oh, no, look. Ta-da! It's a lovely, gorgeous panel. And we've got it by the half metre. With, oh, no. No, in panels with little squares as well. Little squares as well. Beautiful. There's the hat that Rebecca Harrison made at the weekend. Which panel are you looking at? Oh, I didn't see. I unpacked that hour and I didn't see that one. Oh, maybe I'll get that out later and hang it from the back shelf. Lovely. I didn't notice that one. Is there another one there? Is that one one? Anyway. Oh, nice. Oh, there's another kit from Yvonne. I thought they'd all sold out those little notepad things. Oh, it's five of those notepad covers. Right, there's the bag. Now, again, what they've done is they've just shown th three pictures and none of those are our colourways. None of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Kat put in her show report the other day that if we can't have a picture of the thing, maybe on the thing we should have a picture of the fabric that you can use for it. Anyway, that's that's internal. That's internal. Keep going. What? Oh, what's... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 what was my one job? <laughs> <laughs> my one job was get the best studly samples out of the best studly box. <laughs> I did that. Uh, now, did you see at the bottom there? Was that the 550 or the 570 at the bottom? Which one? 570? Back in stock and I can't. Right, one's already gone this morning. I cannot tell you how quickly these are going. I haven't got it here. Cara's going to use it in her second hour. It's the most gorgeous little machine. Right. All I'm going to say to you is Google Elna 570A and just see how much you can pay for it anywhere else, right? There's some, there's some issue going on because what we do is we, we normally stop the 550, the 560, and the 570. You've not got any 560 at the moment, but we sell the 570 for what everyone else sells the 560 for. No, 570A, we've forgotten the alphabet, forgotten the alphabet. We charge, for the 570A, we charge what other people charge for the 560. For the 560, we charge what everyone charges for the 550. And we've got the 550 at 499 pounds. Right, doesn't make any sense. And then Margaret messaged in last week saying, she went to look at when we were selling, right, now this might have been at sewing quarter, right? when we were selling the 570 on its own at sewing quarter, and it was £100 more than that. So there's something gone on. There's something gone on. But please, pl you're, you're benefiting. You're benefiting. So until they realise what's happened, just keep coming in and buying it. But please, please, please do go. I don't even mind if you go in a minute while I'm doing one of these. If you think I've got that, right? Just go and have a look. Google 
Elna 570A. Make sure it's the A with the two alphabets as well as the 200 stitches, right? And you'll see how much everyone else charges for it. In, in um, one of the hours, I might, show, I might show you. I might show you some samples later on, but I've got to get, I've got to get on, you see. I've got to get on now. But there it is, lovely machines. Just so you know, the 550, 560, and 570 are all the same machine. They just have more stuff. So the 570 has got your, your thread cutter. It's got a memory. It's got 200 stitches. It's got two alphabets. It's got every. It's a fantastic little machine. And they have flown out this week. And you can get it on split pay. Three split pays. About, well, say £200. Three split pays of £200, right? Uh, isn't that brilliant? And you get a two-year warranty. And Margaret ordered hers. She said, well, I've ordered it. I've ordered it. That's the only reason I knew we had it back in stock, because Margaret messaged me saying she'd bought one, right? And she literally got it. She literally got it days later, because they're waiting in the warehouse in Stockport near Manchester. They're waiting. So as soon as we, if you buy that today, we'll take the money out of your account at midnight tonight, and they'll start shipping it tomorrow. It's that quick. It's that quick. Okay, sorry. I've, I've, I've waffled on too much. I do want to go to Yarn Lane, though, because Sam Sabido's in and all her stuff always sells very, very quickly. So now to, get to see the Yarn Lane products, you need to go to the Yarn Lane website. They're not on Sewing Street. Here they go. It's exactly the same. Go to www.yarnlane.com. You click on Watch the Show Live. And then underneath it, you'll see Pre-Order. Thank you, Elliot, my lovely. Uh, there you go. So you scroll down. Look, look, these are crochet. Aren't they lovely? Look. Look, there's, there's a sheep, a fox. Bumblebees flying in the wrong direction. Daisy. Aren't they lovely? Oh, look at the chicken. Or is it a cockerel? Oh, it's a chicken, is it? What's the bottom one? Oh, aren't they lovely? She's going to be busy if she's crocheting all those. So how much are they? $19.99. Uh, well, Hannah wants the flower. And which one did I want? I can't remember. No. No. I, I like the bees as well, but they're flying in the wrong direction for me. Sheep. I'll have the sheep, please. Emma would like the chicken. The chicken. Anyway, anyway, let's get on with today, shall we? Because I've done, done everything, haven't I now? Have I? Have I done everything? Yeah, I've done everything. Right, let's do this then. This is brand new fabric. Okay, now we're not doing, we're not going against, we're going against tradition now. Right, okay, you get the, now I need to tell you, you get the panel in the bundle. So if you're thinking of buying the bundle, don't buy the panel on its own. But the, the, panel, the panel on its own is flying out, look. Oh, how cute is this? This is Little Darling's Woodland Animal Panel. I oh, thought that said 93 metres long then. It's 93 centimetres. How cute to so get um, a panda, a llama, a one of those, a hedgehog, a bear, a, not a bear, that's not a bear, that's a rabbit, an owl, a hedgehog, a deer, a sloth. They're all the ones you find at the end of your garden, aren't they? A fox. Oh, hang on, they've repeated panda and they've repeated llama. What's this then? What's that one? Is that a wolf? A baby wolf. I'm not sure what it is either. No, I don't look after the wolves at Chester Zoo. Half the stock has gone already on its own. Lynn says, good morning, John. Hope you have a good day. Jane says, morning, John. Love to see you. Kate says, morning, everyone. Jill says, good morning. Got my coffee and looking forward to the morning with you while my new kitchen floor is being laid. I am providing a fan for the man. It's so hot here. Oh, Jill. What, because of the man or because of the weather? Emily says, morning, John. Everyone just ordered the... Row of the month. Oh, is it back in stock? I missed out when it was on the first time. Oh, they haven't told us it's back in stock. I'll have a look for that in a minute. Actually, we're looking kits revisited. We can have a look then, can't we? Anyway, this is gorgeous. More than half the stock of this has gone. <coughs> Message from Lisa. Oh, cracky. Just got the under the sea cushion for my new grandson, born at 28 weeks, two and a half pounds. Oh, his mum. No, his room will be under the sea thing. Sorry, I've got to lean forward. The writing's so tiny, I can't see it. And it's just fixing my big screen now. Oh, send our love. Send our love. Very little. Eight left. There's eight. Right, they're still available in the, in the bundle. But on their own, there are only eight left now. 
Right, okay, this is the, 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 um, this is the um, confession Hannah has to make. Right, so in this bundle, it's a mega bundle, right? You get the panel, you do get the panel, and then you get these which go with the panel, right? So you get the splodge. These are all little darlings, right? You get the splodge, you get the leaf, you get the stripe. These, you get half a metre of each of these, and you get the all over. Now, all of these fabrics are available by the half metre as well. They are available if you want them by the half metre. Right, <clears throat> so they're all from that range. Now, Hannah saw the word little, right? And she went, oh, these must be the same. These are the same. These are the same. These are called little critters. Is it? No. Yeah. These are called little critters, right? So you get the... They do go. They do go, but they're slightly different. So you get the grey stripe. And now I can't decide if they're reindeer's feet or carrots. Bear paws, are they? Looks like two carrots, doesn't it? Then you get the bumblebees. Then you get the little fat bears. And there you get the little foxes. So this is little critters. No, this is little critters. That's little darlings. We put them all together. And we called it little darlings. So the whole bundle is £81.99. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get four and a half metres of fabric plus the panel. You get two collections there. Two collections you get in there. They do go. They do go, but they are different. Because this has got grey on the outside. And those greys will... Two collections for £81.99. Elliot can't remember his password. How many... Does it give you... A, Will it say you're locked out in a minute? No. Nah. 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 Beautiful. So that's 8199. It's all 100 percent cotton, all machine washable, all quilting weight fabric. Now they are all available by the half meter. If you want them by the half meter. Then I've got every single one of those by the half metre. Oh, that, that is in now. No. Oh, it hasn't. No. Elliot's only got one syllable words this morning. No. <laughs> well, it won't work. Well, hold on, oh, no, you've made you a coffee. No, I need to make one. Oh, password's incorrect. Try again, please, Elliot. Um, are you making coffee? Because if you are, the girls would like one, please. When you, when you fix this, when you fix this. Right, shall we do them by the half metre? Right, the panel has gone, I'm presuming. Panel's sold out. Yeah, we'll do the scattered animals now. This is so cute. It's on white. 44 inches wide, machine washable. Look, sloth, llama, owl, bambi. You know what they've left the wolf? What the wolf? Oh no, there's. I think it might just be a cat. The wolf one. Pandas wet waving. There you go. Let's turn it over. See on the other side. What's that one there? Then oh, hedgehog, hedgehog. I love the fact that in the garden, there's a hedgehog, a fox, and a llama, and a sloth. No, we haven't got sloths in my garden. No hedgehog. I'm thinking of putting the hedgehog house on a stick and making it a bird, ta a bird table for next year, or bird house for next year. 7.49 for half a metre, 100% cotton. No. Well, no, there's all straw in there. They could make it. Well, no, I don't know how they'd make a nest in it, you see. I did think that. Anyway, that's next year, isn't it? £7.49 for half a metre, this one. Lovely, isn't it? Okay. Half the stock of that one has gone. I've got uh, rows of animals now. Now we have to work out which way they're going, don't we? Hang on, let's have a look. 
So it's going that way. So the stripes go down the fabric. But if you're going to make a skirt out of it, you're going to have to cut that way. Aren't you? To see it all, to see them the right way up. You can make cushions out of them if you want to. You can make, oh. Well, you can make curtains as long as they're no longer than 44 inches. Little windows. The what? Yeah, but I, I need you to know that they go this way. I'm going to show the fabric that way. No, no, I need you to know they go that way. So this is where we'd cut. If you had a metre, it would be a metre down this way. Oh, apparently there are they Rendale designs on the Little Darlings fabric. What's a Rendale? What's, I don't know what a Rendale is. Good morning, John, off to Grimsby, says Shelley. Glenn is staying with us all morning. Um, what's, a, what's a Glendale then? Hang on. Rendale. I don't know what one is. What's a Rendale, Elliot? Skirt. Oh, oh, I see. It's not a kind of animal. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you meant it was a... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I'm just looking, I'm looking at the um, at selvage now. Little Darlings Woodland, Sillier Than Sally, P&B Textiles, 100% Cotton. Well, no, it's no mention, unless, P, unless Sillier Than Sally designs that Rendale stuff. Oh, we go, Rendale's those classic images of hares and horses. They're often on cushions or napkins. Thank you, Stuart. No, it's not those. Oh, but they look similar. They look similar. Okay, so that's just, that's, uh, Hannah thinks they're Rendell's at a party. I'm putting them away now, the party animals. Dots, now splodges, this is, I love this one. Oh, hang on, stickers coming off. We were here so long, I can't tell you how long we were here packing up yesterday. Oh my, word. well no, Elliot did 12 o'clock. It did take a long time because he said, I'm just going to go and get, I'm going to Subway to get a sandwich. And when I went out, I'd done one box. He was still standing there chatting next door. Then he went to Subway to get his sandwich. And then he said, oh, and then I said, well, if you could just do that, he go, I'm eating my Subway first. I've ordered a trolley for that. What? I've ordered you a trolley for that. Sandwich. He's ordered me a new trolley as well, everyone, for the set. So when we have two guests, I can still keep a trolley. Yeah, no, you'd, you'd, done the to you'd ordered that first thing in the morning, you told me. No. He's answering me back now, everyone. Don't you do that to me. Is he, are you happy to see Hannah? No, he's not, because he can't remember. Why haven't you written the password down? No, don't show him. Yeah, show him, show him. Here's Elliot, everyone. He's not happy. You can, look, he's got his keyboard there because he can't remember the password for the thing. Yeah, what, do, what would your password be? Right, I think it would be Subway. This was a formal password. Oh, this was a password for the people who were here before us. So it'll be Poppy. No. no. Healthy living. Pills. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's not pills. Right, okay, £7.49. This is lovely. Even if you're not getting the fabric... The Little Darlings fabric, this is a lovely fabric. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a newborn baby changing mat or something like that. Oh, Shelley's off to see her grandchildren. Oh, Michelle says, thank you for making me smile. Oh, Michelle, it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure, my love. That you can't just go. There must be a way you can change the password, surely. Little Paul will know it. <laughs> now, what's this? You see, I like this one. Is it DNA? Oh, it's leafy stripes. I thought it looked like deoxyrobot. Oh, he's taking his jacket off. Do you know what, at, by the, at this rate, right, if he's not got it right, we sit there in his pants in a minute. 
The A's are playing strip password on a Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning. What day is it? Wednesday morning. Right, have a look at this. Oh, isn't it lovely? And also, um, it changes colour. Can you pull back out again, Emma, a little bit for me? Look, 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 look. It changes colour as it comes down the stripe. All right, all right, that's fine enough. Still want to be able to see the fabric. Oh, oh, oh no. Do I want to send a star? 70p? I can send a star for 70p. That's outrageous. Maureen's heading home tomorrow. Oh, she's been away from home for so long. Okay. You can reset your password, look. No. It's a thing that says underneath it. Re oh, no, it won't let you do that. Oh, no. Well, you better not be. I need that screen for when I move over to that table. Right. The rest, the other half of this, which is nothing to do with it, but it goes nicely with it. Little Critters, this is called. Chubby Bears and Bees. It's not called that. Bear and bee on white, this is called, because they're both off. He's after his, the honey, isn't he, made by the bee? His eyes are shut. Oh, no. It's oh, do you? No, I think he's going, ooh, with his eyes closed. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Like Elliot. And then that's a smiley, open-eyed version. 100% cotton, machine washable. It's by the same people. It's made by the same people. This one's called Little Critters by Robin Roderick. Robin, Robin Roderick. Uh, okay, I think nobody's awake yet so far. Emma's like, why is it called Bears and Bees? There they are. Beautiful. Okay, now, what's next? Bees on their own. Emma, this is called Bees because there's bees. On. Oh, I like the background. It's got like a little check in the background of this one. Robin Roderick designed this for P&B Boutique. It's a boutique. Do you not remember that advert? No. It was an advert where they, they stole me. I was supposed to do it. And I, did, I didn't, and then someone else played me, and it was a, 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 fa a, a dress designer in a very fancy shirt. And then my friend Malcolm was the bank manager on the other end of the phone. It's a long time ago now. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Seven pounds and 49 pence. This is bees. What's it called? Busy bees? Oh, no, bees on light grey, it's called. Bees on light... Well, it's a very, very light grey, I will say. Oh, well, it's getting stressed now. So where did you think it was written down? Has somebody moved it? No. Oh, you've moved it? And where did you move it to? Is it in your desk? Is it in your phone? I don't know. Crazy Lorraine says good morning to everyone. Little Foxes, Little... There was a play called Little Foxes in the West End and um, Elizabeth Taylor was in it, wasn't she? Yeah, I'm going back to before you were born. And she had, they had to paint her dressing room lilac. That's all I remember. Seven pounds and 49 pence, Little Critters, Fox on Grey. Well, you sleep on some of them, Emma, and wake on others. Look. Do what? Foxes, yeah, can grow to a huge size. The ones in the field behind me are massive. They're not pets, Hannah, no. Morning says low. Seven to forty-nine for half a metre. Elliot, go and have a coffee and maybe it'll come back. Go and have a coffee and it'll come back to you. While you're putting the kettle on, it'll come back to you like a, that. 
Okay, two more in this range. Is it because they're asking for coffee? Come on. Is it because they're asking for coffee? It's because they want coffee, yeah. <laughs> right, now I've got the two carrots. These are bare. Oh, look at the. They go in all different directions. Okay, I, well, I thought like a deer, but then I thought they'd look like two little carrots, but apparently they're bear prints. Bear paws on grey. I thought bears had like a hand, don't know. Seven pounds and forty nine pence, thank you. No, I think that's more like a reindeer, not a bear. Okay, we've had a look, we've had a look on the Encyclopedia Britannica and it's, de oh, it's definitely a bear footprint. A deer, deer footprint, sorry, deer footprint. Definitely deer footprint, that. Oh well, we'll move on. Last one, last one of this range. Nice stripe. Now this, you see, this would work for all sorts of projects, not just to go with these fabrics. What are we calling it? Little Critters Grey and White Stripe. <laughs> Have you spelt it wrong? Oh yeah, gray, sorry, Grey and Wood. Wood. Striped fabric. 7.49 for half a metre. Oh no, who's that? Oh, no. Where, she's down in um, down south, though, isn't she, at the moment? Waiting for the thunderstorm, hail and rain that's forecast. Oh, we're not having it here. We've got brilliant sunshine on the BBC. What's it all day today? Oh, not in my village. Birmingham's going to rain at two o'clock. Well, that's got up from Limington very quickly. Right, three o'clock rain in Birmingham now. Oh no, maybe mine's changed then in the village. When I looked first, because I've worn shorts to come to work today. Got shorts on. Yeah, and it's lovely in summary, isn't it? Right, moving on. Uh, would you like to see the mega bundle again? Yeah, so the two are combined. So there's all your little uh, critters. And there's your um, little beauties. Eighty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. You get all that. Two ranges, two different fab ranges. They work together really nicely. The rain says it's going to be twenty-seven degrees where she is. Yeah, Lorraine, check your app. I bet it the rain's on its way. Bet you any money. Only way to get the panel now because the panel sold out. Eighty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right, let's do some Chatham and Glynn animals now. Oh, look at the time. Got to get a move on, haven't I? Right, here we go. So these come in two, oh, he says. Right, these are, right, let's do these first then. So this is Bombolini, Bombolini, I think this one's called. There you go, £2.49 this is. Now, it's, it's made of, oh, it's a cotton polyester mix, I think this, isn't it? 80% cotton, 20% polyester. And you get the B, and it measures 46 by 46 centimetres. Half a metre, they put it at 46 metres, uh, yeah, half a metre. Oh, it's raining now. Oh, she's home in Devon. She's home in Devon, no, it's raining now. Definitely rain, no rain or storms here. And the rain, I'll text you at three o'clock, I bet it's raining. Right, 249 this. Bombolini, Bombini even, Bombini. It's cute, isn't it? Now, I've got, he says, I've, right, shall I do this next then? Is this by the half metre, this one? Yes. 
Yeah, so look, I've got the matching fabric now by the half metre, the Bombini by the half metre. Now, this looks wider. This looks like it's 55 wide. Oh, well, somebody's taken my tape measure again. I was, it was only me that was in yesterday, right there. 140 centimetres wide. 140 centimetres is 55 inches wide, what I said, I was right. I'm not always right. I'm not. <laughs> so that's lovely. Let me hold it up for you. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Matches perfectly. So if you're going to put that on the front of a cushion, you have this on the back maybe. It's got a, a linen feel to it, but it's not linen. Right, so that's Bombini. Next I've got the Bumblebee which is slightly different, look. Oh, okay, a lot of these are selling out before we get to them, but here we go, it's the Bumblebee. Oh, now I've got the choice of backings for this one. What did he just say? £2.49, that is. Linda says, sunshine all day in Norfolk, according to the Met Office. Must be wrong, it's my birthday, it always rains. Oh, Linda, happy birthday, happy birthday. All the best people are born in June. Right, now I've got a choice of two backings for the bumblebee. I've got a big one and a small one. I've got the first one of... Okay, I've got 76 and 48. 76, this is the big one. I'll show you both together. This is the one I'm selling, right, this one. Right, on the website, there's no sense of scale because, look, this is coming up next. So this is the one I'm showing you now. But that's very dramatic, isn't it, with that? So that was the one we had in a minute ago, right? Sorry, there. Right, and this would be lovely as backing. Now you buy this one by the half metre, you don't buy it by the panel, you buy this one by the half metre. 55 inches wide, what's the matter? £5.49 pence for half a metre. That's good value, isn't it? Strange price, but good value. Right, now I've got the little bumblebees. Right, on the computer, these look bigger, but the backing's slightly different. The backing looks a little bit more like an open weave on these. 5.49. Yeah, it should be. I think it is. It just looks a little bit different. Yeah, so this was the one I just showed you. That's that one that I just showed you. And then that one's the big panel, that one there. Yeah, get a bit of all three. But make two borders, that one and that one. Be nice, wouldn't it? Right, next is Highland Cow. A bit like the ones that me and Mr. Graham were chased by when we were on Rob Roy on a night shoot. It was. There was a whole herd of them in the village. We built a whole village up in Kinloch, but I don't know if we were in Kinloch, Burby, by then. Anyway, they built a whole village, a medieval-y kind of village. And um, all these, lots of these, Angus cows, and they all came chasing after us. Must have been a right old sight as well. I was busy, worried, because I had new Timberland boots and a brand new, a brand new, uh, because it was a new film, so I'd treated myself to an Eddie Bauer coat and brand new Timberlands. So it was very muddy, and I spent the whole night going, oh, I can't believe my boots are getting so muddy. I'd, I'd like, <laughs> like with this one, <laughs> me and Miss, Miss Graham was a makeup artist who now does um, René Zellweger. He just works, flies around the world with René Zellweger. <laughs> anyway, so that's your, that's your, um, your panel there, your little panel for £2.49. Okay. And then this is the backing for that one. I, I say backing, it doesn't have to be the backing, it's going to be the... 
Oh, this one's about to sell out. P please be careful if you definitely want that one. Lovely. Then I've got a rabbit, or is it a hare? Let me have a check now. It's a rabbit. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Oh, it's a baby rabbit, look. Margaret says it's going to be very hot here today. Gold, you got my air con on. Is that seen? Weck yeah, I can't remember the name. Heckman de Wick. Can never say it. Jackie said, I spent many happy times at RAF Kinross with the air cadets. Ooh. Oh, because I'm talking about Scotland. Sorry. Couldn't figure out what that had to do with anything then. Kinlock Burvey I was in, not Kinross. Is that nearby? Anyway, that's the rabbit. Oh, now this is lovely because it's got a very soft lilac or lavender colour behind it, that one. Then this is the backing for that one. Limited, limited, limited on the rabbits. No, Lowe says, I love your smoking impersonation. Reminds me of how I look when annoyed and I smoke. No, I, I sound like that all the time. 40 a day I was on in those days. I haven't smoked for 30 years now, but. Like that. Outside, outside your mouth. In fact, I had a dream the other night that I was smoking. And um, I remember stopping it out because I hate it. Right, now, I've got a hedgehog, but I haven't got a hedgehog backing. Must have sold it. Oh, look, two hedgehogs. I can't even get one for my garden. They're facing it. They're walking into... Well, they're merging, aren't they? So how the hotel... My, my um, hedgehog hotel's big enough for two. Okay, moving on. And then this one doesn't have anything printed on it. It's just plain. These are a bit like the hedgehogs in my garden, these ones. Oh, yeah, no, no. Do you want the number? It finishes 435. Oh, don't worry, Jackie, don't apologise. I've got to be quick now. Elliot, you've got ten minutes to f sort that out. Right, yo. Now, am I going to the Wild Animal Print or am I going to New World Tapestries? Wild Animal Prints. Right, these are... Oh, they're... No. They've got... A, look, I'll show you all four. Got these four animal prints coming up. That's obviously snake, leopard. Right, which one am I doing first? <coughs> Do snake first. Now, uh, I'm, presu it's, uh, I'm presuming it's 100% cotton. Yes, it is. Look how wide it is. No, somebody near Hannah released a snake in the local park over the bank holiday weekend, but they were popular. Did it on purpose? Do they know who it was? Do they not have to, not have to register a snake? Right, okay, that's your snake fabric by the half metre. It is 100% cotton, isn't it? My brother's nickname at work was Patsy, as he always had a glass in one hand and a cigarette in the other. Mm. What was he doing drinking at work? Right, which of these would you like to do next? <laughs> what does it finish? Four, five, eight. Four, five, eight. Oh, they're cheaters, apparently. This is leopard. Oh, I've never seen a stripy leopard before. I've not lived, have I? They look like a roll of Christmas crackers like that, don't they? Can no one else see that? Okay. <laughs> I've seen a, a box of Christmas crackers there. 
Oh, Elliot can see it. Look. Right, 440. It's only 449. And it's 55 inches wide, 100% cotton. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Elliot, I can't believe you've forgotten it. You only set that up last week. Right, now I know that Wendy's got this in her bedroom. One of these two. I was watching the other day because we've got a panel coming up later with one of these animals on it. And she's going to border it and then put fleece on the back. Yep. Okay, that's this is this one. I'll show you them together. There's a more yellow one. I'm doing this one first. Low said all oh, that poor snake. They caught it, didn't they? They caught it, Low. It's fine. Because it was hot weather. Obviously came out to get a drink of water or something, got caught. Oh, heck, here we go. My son's dining room has just been decorated with leopard print wallpaper. Le crazy Lorraine. Is that Stacy? Is that Stacy done that? Oh, and Ryan in the office got a leopard print carpet. Oh, Elliot, what was it? Tell me what it was so I remember. <laughs> what is it? Write it down now. Write it down. He's remembered the past. Oh, it's a I love Hannah, apparently. Love spell L U V. <clears throat> Was that a smouldering or an evil look you just gave her then? Smouldering. Okay. Then the other leopard is this one. I think this is the one Wendy said she was getting. Okay, we're not going to get time to do all the tapestries. They're all underneath on pre-order, but we'll put them into the roundup, the kit roundup hour. Oh, yes, yeah, Stacy. Yeah, I can imagine what he gets up to in there as well with his drum kit. What's the matter, Elliot? Nothing's happened. It's just blue. Yeah, he's got the... He's got, oh, hang on. These update... Oh, we're doing an update. Right, I do not forget. I've got this coming up. This coming up later. I've got loads in today's show, but I need to remind you about the 570 sewing machine because you are... 570A! Because you are loving it. You're absolutely loving it. Are we going to show you a picture? Can't show you the machine because Cara's playing with it in the dressing room. She's not going to use it in this hour, this next hour. She's using the 680 in the next hour. But there it is. Three split pays of £200. £599. And, oh, have you got it now? Should we show it now? Right, okay, I'm going to show you now other places you can go to. Oh, you've picked other ones, different to cat. There you go. This is a direct comparison. 699. 699. Hmm? I sold out. Well, the thing is, that's the trouble. Everyone's going to be sold out at the moment because nobody can get stock at the moment, which is very fortunate. Um, that's just one. Go and have a look during the break. Go, just Google Yahoo or Bing. Elna 570A, and you'll see what a good deal we're doing. You get a hard case, and you get an extension table with it as well. Everyone gets that. That's not a special thing that we're doing. It all, all the people will do that. Anyway, we're going for a break now. Um, Cara is up next. She's already made this one, and she's going to be making buckets and spades. It's all to do with the seaside. Don't go anywhere. We will see you in four minutes from now. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, 
patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have a look at this lot, isn't that lovely? The latest Helen Newton uh, cushion there. That one is called Under the Sea. Uh, we've got the bundle for that coming up. Now. Well, I'll show it to you straight away before I introduce Bucket and Spades. Let's do Under the Sea. What you get in your bundle is you get half a metre of your lovely nude, is it? I don't know what's called that one. Oh, oh, actually, we'll just double check. We think you're only supposed to get half a metre in that one. We're just checking the, 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 um, what you'll actually get sent to you at home. 
And then let me show, while we sort the fabric out, let me show you the panel that you get. So you get all the fabrics that you need to do the whole of that cushion front. Oh, this is the one we asked about yesterday. Okay, you don't need a meter, but you get a meter. And your panel and your instructions. Okay. I think you're getting half a meter for free there then. Because, hang on, that's 9.99. No? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So you do get a metre of fabric in this one. Um, and then also, these are all the fabrics you need. They're all labelled dark blue sea, medium blue sea, pale blue sea, whole body, whale body, whale body. Put your glasses on, John. Put your glasses on. Fish, fish, turtle. Everything you need is all on that panel. Yeah, you're definitely getting half a metre for free because that's a panel which would normally cost you fourteen ninety nine. Nine nine. Let's call it nine ninety nine. Let's call that nine ninety nine. Instructions, which are nine ninety nine. That takes you twenty pounds already, doesn't it? Anyway, anyway, it's not me. You are getting one metre of the nude. I think it's nude. Was it latte? Oh, beige. <laughs> oh, didn't he say beige? No, you were so busy going, meter, it's a meter, it's a meter. Anyway, you get, you're getting a deal on that one. You're getting an absolute deal on that one. Uh, so 19.99. Quarter of the stock's already gone. You can have the instructions on their own if you want. Here they are. Under the sea, instructions. See, 9.99. 9.99 with all your templates there. Lovely. They're angel fish, I think they're called. They're not triangle fish, no. Look. That one looks a bit like Hannah this morning. All the instructions you need. Cara Delavine is here to show us how to make it. But before we do that, oh no, we're not making this one. We're not making this one. This one's already made. Have a look at the finished one, sorry. We've already made this one. It's the same technique as the one that Cara's going to do. But there it all is. Oh, you see, now the angelfish in the stripy fabric's lovely, isn't it? Oh, and look at the turtle. Look at the turtle shell. So for the whole kit to make that. Now, you're getting a metre of fabric plus your panel. So you're getting way too much fabric. You only need half a metre to make a cushion, don't you? Right, okay, now this one, Buckets and Spades, which is the one you're going to see demonstrated, this is the finished, the finished article here. Right, same price, which is the hatchback, in 1999. You're only getting half a metre of fabric in this one, though. Have you? This one's nude. You see why I was getting confused, can't you? Look, I mean to say. So you get half a metre of nude, you get the instructions, and you get the panel with all your different fabrics on there. There you go. Everything you need on there. Oh, that's like David Hockney swimming pool, that one, isn't it? Make a bigger splash. What does it say? Hang on. C, lolly base. Oh, the, I see. So it's the C and it's the, the very famous uh, ice, ice lolly. Sky, obviously. All your different colours there, starfish, sandcastle, beach ball, spade, sand for castle and bucket top. Tells you everything that you need, right? And that's what you get and that's what you're going to make out of it. We are going to see Cara making this one this hour. Do you like the pattern on its own? Pattern on its own. So that just goes to show you are getting half a metre for free in the... I did tell them yesterday. I did tell them. Right. Here's your half a metre... Uh, no, here's your half a metre free. No, here's your pattern. That was me going back to my conversation yesterday. Lovely, isn't it? 9.99. Rosina says, Morning, John. You're keeping me going. Oh, good, Rosina. You're having a bad day. Oh. Right, that's the pattern on its own. Now, I'm going to let Cara start, and then as she uses different tools or items, I'll introduce her and I'll wait, I'll wave, I'll introduce them and wave them at you. I'll wave at you. All right, shall we get on with it? Hello, Cara. Hello, John. How are Hello, you? 
I'm good. Oh, really very good. good. Thank you very, very much indeed. Good. I had a bit of a break last week and going for another break. So you've been away? Yeah. You look tanned. No. Or was, were you rusty? It was raining. Oh. Rusty. Rusty. And where was, was where was last week? It was though? Lake District. Oh, oh it, was beautiful. it doesn't matter if it rains there. No. It's so lovely. And we did have some sunshine and we did some exploring and things like that. So. And where's next week then? At Scotland. Oh, lo oh, lovely. I know. I know. I like this freelance work. It's yeah, it's really nice, good. isn't it? <laughs> Uh, my neighbours are going on around Scotland on a train, not, not in this, not at the moment. They've got it booked for later in the year where they're going to go around sort of Scotland on oh, like fantastic. an old train sort of thing. Fantastic. I love Scotland. Absolutely love Scotland. Oh. Love England as well, but yeah. love Scotland. But haven't we been lucky with the weather? Oh, tell me. Look at your shirts. Sort yes. Reflecting... Uh, all the, the hot air balloons. Oh, no. and it was a bit windy air. for hot air balloons. <laughs> oh, hot air, yeah. But a bit windy over my way for hot air balloons. Um, now, you've already done the under the sea one, which is yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. The techniques you need to do that, if you've never done one before, the techniques are exactly the same they for are, this, aren't they? They are exactly the same. There are some little sort of, um, you know, little details and things like that, but they're so, so straightforward. Helen's so good with all her instructions and everything she might be watching today so oh might she she's got a day hello. off i don't know oh. i don't know but uh, hello no. helen <laughs> up there in the northwest i was up in the northwest last week were you where it did my, you it go it was julie's at 60th birthday oh, so goodness. i was just went up for two days to mike oh, and julie's fantastic. house it was, and we had lovely weather so it was fantastic. so nice just to sit in the garden and oh everything. and see people isn't it see people and yes and and we went for a walk on a beach as well lovely. in liso beach it was gorgeous lovely. lovely so we might get that one down later yes just to talk through the different yeah. bits but for now should we make the buckets and spades or? yes yeah. yes we can make the buckets and spades um lovely clear, clear um picture on the front which is fantastic um but you don't have to follow that right you know um helen sort of gives you the guidance and things like that but if you want to play around with it if you want to you know put it in different um, positions and things like that if you want two seagulls you might need a little bit extra fabric but there's enough fabric on the um, panel to do the actual front and also the borders. Oh, brilliant. So um, your first thing you'll do is with your panel is cut out all the pieces. Right. And then you'll um, attach. This is the extra. Maybe that's why they've got the extra on the um, sand. I, I, I think I only used um, a half. You, you use the um, background fabric for the sand. Except this is buckets and spades. And the extra fabric was in. Oh the right, other one. okay, it's it's yeah. fine. You've got half a meter. So you so, that's so fine. you get you getting you take the sand out of your uh, yes, out you of your take background. the sand out of your background fabric. Right, and then you um, have your lovely water there, and yep. that's used as you said for the the bottom of the lolly. Yeah, and then you have the sky, but you also have printed, which is fantastic. The actual borders. They're like linear linear cotton, the yes. linear print, aren't they? Yes, from Macau, which is really look, good. Yeah. So you'll spend a bit of time and put your um, panels together. Okay. And then you'll um, actually machine the borders on. And then what I like to use is the medium interfacing, um, but you can use the stitch and tear. So you can wave right, okay, them. medium facing, wave. <laughs> medium interfacing there. Or, the so that's, a, that's that one, or... Low in stock, that one. Low in stock. It's been on every day this week, that's why. So that's that one. And then, Roger, stitch and tear. They've sent us the one that's got the sticky on his mouth again, look. <laughs> we don't know if he's really called Roger. It's just when Hannah was free, young, free and single, she quite fancied Roger. I would imagine that was a few years ago, so I wonder what he looks like now. Well, you, I thought you meant when Hannah was young. No, I was going to no, say, no, no, Cara, no, no. that's not like you. Oh, no. Free yeah, oh no, this was, we think this picture, because that picture's been on that packet for as long yes, as I can remember. Yes, so I wonder what so. it looks like It now. looks like this now. <laughs> right, okay, so I've introduced those, I've introduced those. Um, I'm going to say anything else in a minute before um, I... No, okay, no, I'm not going to wait. Bond web, you could do bond oh, web. Oh, bond web. Yep. Roger's gone. Bond web. Uh, Lisa Lamb saying hello from Portugal, <gasps> lounging by the pool, oh. wishing you were here. Oh, Lisa, I'd look like a beach whale if I was sitting by the pool. <laughs> okay, moving Wonderful. on. Um, so, yes, the bond web you will need. Yes. So you've done all of that. The reason why you'll use the interfacing or the stitch and tear is for a stabiliser, and it helps you when you're doing your free motion. 
but don't feel that you're restricted to free motion. You can actually um, hand stitch them. You can do them on a normal machine with the stop and start. Um, you know, so it's it's just a guidance, really. Can I ask? Did you put the interfacing on each piece before you sewed them together? No. Or you sewed them together and then put a big square. I put the big square of interfacing on the back. Okay. With the stitch and tear, you'll only put it in the areas where you're going to actually do the free do motion. Stitch. So. Okay. Um, so you you won't go to the edge, but I like to go to the edge. I don't like to have any hard no, no. Um, changes. So. Mm -hmm. so that's the first thing that you'll do. The next thing you'll do is then trace your pattern pieces. So you'll take your bonder web and trace your pattern pieces. So there's uh, two sides of the pattern. You can see really, really clearly. And they're lovely, big, fat black lines. Yep. Um, and I use a crayon because I find that a pencil gets on my hands mm -hmm. and then I get it on the fabric. Um, if I use a pen, um, that's the same. I get, you know, like a biro or something. I get that on my hands, but a crayon you don't. Um, so it, don't worry about having the thick edges when you're tracing them because actually that is part of the um, free motion as well. So um, what you can do is use a light box. Light box. The A4 light box, here it is. This is the A4 light box, 32.99 by Pure Light, ultra thin, LED. It's got a USB plug on it, just so you know. And it's dimmable. Okay, Cara, over to you. <laughs> Talking about dimmable. <laughs> <laughs> as if I say anything. As like if, that. as if. So, um, I'm just going to show you, that's the um, template without the light box and it is possible to see oh, yes, through yes, the bond yes, yes, web. Yes. But if you're going to be tracing, maybe it's in a darker room or something like that, you can, as you say, it's adjustable. So you can um, put it on different um, light settings yeah. and then you can trace it from there. Brilliant. Um, so what I'm going to do is just trace one of the pieces. You want to be as economical as possible with your bond web. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't have to follow the actual layout, the A4 layout. You can, um, once you've traced one of them, I'm going to trace one of the starfish. So I'm using the um, crayon and it's on the non-sticky side of the bond web. Okay. And you'll be able to feel the difference um, if you feel one side of the bonder web is smooth mm -hmm. and that's the side that I'm tracing and the other side has got a rough feel to it and that's got the glue. So I've um, traced one of the starfish. Um, maybe I'm going to do the boat. Okay. Um, so what you can do is be really, really economical. You want to have a little bit of um, the bonder web showing around the outside. So just position your bonder web as such and don't worry if you're a bit wobbly i've got a bit wobbly there sorry <laughs> um, <laughs> sue says morning cara so jealous you're off to scotland next week have a oh. fabulous time oh thank Lo you says sue. i love helen's designs sandy says morning john and cara me and my friend hazel me and my friend hazel from spain are watching you enjoying the show it's hazel's birthday today could you wish her a happy birthday oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday hazel. hazel that was from me and cara as well oh fantastic oh, oh my gosh they're from all over the place yeah like, Saw that one lady was watching in New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. yes. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. What's that bowler hat? Uh, yes, the ice cream cone. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm hoping that we might have a few of those. I don't know about Scot in Scotland though. Oh, um, <laughs> in the pop-in shop, we've got all the magnums, all the different flavoured magnums, and we've got the caramel one that they love, the, go oh. the double caramel oh, one. Oh my gosh, that is such a good one. Such a good one. And then, you know, this is the lollipop. So you just carry on tracing around the outside. Um, and again, on the panel, you've got, let me go move that out the way. So that's the light box and how good it is to use. And then on the panel, you've got all the pieces and they're labeled. So it's very clear for you to see what piece you're going to be using for um, which item. So I've done the starfish and um, you'll cut out with your paper scissors around the starfish and you cut out roughly 
around the edge. Because you want your glue to go to the edge oh, okay, yeah. of the fabric. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to cut that one out. And you'll do this with all the pieces. And then this is going to be on the starfish. You will cut out all those panels um, and it's a bit easier. In fact, I'll just cut that out. Yeah. Um, to handle if you're handling just a small piece of fabric rather than the great big one. Yeah, exactly. And what I do when I cut them out, they actually do leave the label at the top. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you may put it to one side and then think, oh, gosh, was that what the starfish? Was that yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we're just going to pop that across. And then you'll get your iron. And the, the little irons are lovely for doing applique work. Um, because you've got so much control over them. Yeah, I can't wave that at you. I've not got it here. Oh. <laughs> I must have left it on the trolley. Little iron, 39.99. So I've got the little iron on. So cut that out. What did, I do? what did you do with that square you just cut out? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Put it to one side, of course. I'm just going to oh, iron that. Now, be careful, when Debbie was in on Sunday, she dropped the iron about eight times <gasps> on the carpet. Oh, my gosh. I know. This is a <coughs> lovely new um, yes. mat. Because you designers had made it so dirty and messy, Elliot was having not a me, meltdown. Not me, not me, not <laughs> me. You should see my ironing board at home. Oh, my gosh. I've got one of those little ones. Yeah. And it is filthy. <gasps> I need admit to, put, to that. I, I know. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, but I want to do a new cover to it. So I need some advice on what I need to okay. put together. Okay, so you iron your fabric and you want to put your bond web, the sticky side of the bond web, actually on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay. So again, be as economical as possible. Mm -hmm. And then um, without steam, you just hold the iron over the top there. What you can use is <laughs> another one. <laughs> It's an applique mat. Applique mat. Yep. Which is lovely because, um, you know, sometimes I'm not sure how long to hold the iron there. And if you've got an applique mat, it protects your fabric. Mm -hmm. so. Emma. She was ignoring me. <laughs> applique mats are brilliant because they, you can either sandwich your uh, applique between it or if you're uh, appliqueing bond web to legs or something like that, you don't want the glue to go on your iron or your ironing board. It, if it goes on here, when this cools down, you can then peel it off afterwards. So you're not wrecking your iron and your ironing board. And uh, like I said, when it goes cold, but be careful when using it because it can get very hot. So then I'm just roughly cutting around the outside and then you're going to actually cut to the edge. Now, when you were making this at home, yep. would you have cut all of your motifs out before you started? Like, you've only done the starfish and you're going to put that down, but would you have cut all of them out? Yeah, it's really funny. Now that I've done quite a few. Yes, yeah, um, you've got an array of them in the studio. <laughs> I actually have a routine. Right. So my first job is to read the instructions okay. and to get a coffee. Okay. And then um, the next um, thing I do is cut out all the pieces from the panel. Mm -hmm. So I cut those all out and press them. Then I trace all of my um, shapes onto my bond web, cut them out roughly. So is, all is the shapes. one packet of that bond web enough to do all yes. of those shapes? Yes, yeah. definitely. I've never had to do more than um, one packet for any of the cushions okay. actually, which okay. is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so then I cut out, um, I, then I trace, then I cut out roughly from the bond web. And then I set up my ironing board on the table, get all my pattern pieces out, put the front of the instructions in front of me so I can see Team visually as goes. well as I'm, I'm a, visu a visual person rather than a, a written person, uh -huh. a word person. Um, so I look at that and, you know, sometimes I do either by choice or by error um, select the wrong fabric for some reason, but it doesn't matter. No. It really no. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, as long as you're aware of what pieces you're going to be using and that you've got enough fabric, that's the thing. So then I will um, press all the bond web onto the different fabric pieces 
and then I'll sit and just cut them out. I'm actually using a pair of paper scissors to cut out because I feel my fabric scissors are very precious for fabric and this is your cutting mm -hmm. out the bond web. So I'm cutting roughly on the line, right. as close to the line as I can. Um, but again, don't worry um, You know, if you are a little bit bigger, as long as you've got the general shape, that's the important thing. So cut that out. And any small pieces, I tend to leave until I'm actually positioning. You'll see when I start positioning them onto the actual right. cushion. Okay, so that's my starfish done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll do all of those and then I'll pop them in a bag like this. Okay. And then I'll be ready to start assembling them onto the cushion back. Now, as so you say, uh, what you're doing is you're demonstrating Helen's design. So you're going to place them exactly where Helen's yes. put them. Yes. But at home, like you say, if you want to of something, you want to you move it around, it's perfectly up to you. It's your choice. You might have enough fabric on here to do two seagulls, something like that. But the size of the pieces of fabric are so small, you'll have something in your stash you could almost yes. do it with. Yes, you? definitely. Something. Jackie loves this pattern. Jackie loves all of her. Oh, now Jackie, yes, Jackie goes to Helen Newton, or well, before COVID, would go to Helen Newton's for classes and oh, things like that. I would love to go to Helen's mm. for classes. So um, ooh, one day, one day, I'd like to meet her. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? That you seem to have done all of our cushions know, and you've never met her. I know, I know. And I just feel so privileged to be able to do them because they are such beautiful designs. They oh, really she's are. only saying that because Helen's watching. Oh, I don't, she might not be watching. She is because no, there's I'd a message anyway. coming. Look. <laughs> Hi, John and Cara, big wave. I'm here watching with a cup of coffee and the sun is shining. Loving the demonstration this morning from Helen Newton. Oh, no Helen. work. The bank shut. Aww. She's a brilliant tutor, says Jackie. Oh, I bet she is. I bet she is. Right. Right, so this is all your bits. And have you still got the paper on the back of all of those? Right, so um, I'm just going to show you. I've taken the paper off some of them. Right. But you'll notice here for the sandcastle. Oh, hang castle, on, Emma, just coming from upstairs. Yep. There you go, perfect. Yeah. For the sandcastle, you've got a door and some windows and little portholes yep. um, and a star on the top. I found it easier to actually put those onto my sandcastle before I took the paper off the back of Fine. the sandcastle. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to do that. The other one is the sunglasses. Uh -huh. So I cut the sunglasses out and the blue um, hearts. I've taken the paper off the back of the blue hearts, but not off the sunglasses. But then I've taken the paper off the back of everything. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do those ones here. So I've taken the paper off the black, back, black, mm -hmm. back of the um, hearts, but you'll see I've still got the paper on the back of the yeah. sunglasses. So I'm just going to position those there, move everything else out the way, otherwise I'll ruin this beautiful new yes. mat and Elliot will not be happy. No, he's not happy anyway. Oh. <laughs> you seemed all right this morning. He's putting on, for the guest, he's putting on a brave face. Oh. <laughs> right, so I've got my um, applique mat. I've got the um, hearts in position. And then I'll just pop that over the okay. top. Okay. Until those hearts are in position. So now... When I take the paper off the back of that, I'll let that cool down, and then take the paper off the back, then I'll be and able to put use that, that on top. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, so let's find the... You need your windows and your yeah. turrets and so when <laughs> So when I was cutting these out, as I say, let me just have a look. This is where um, I find that I've lost one and it's on the floor at home. What's the matter? <gasps> no, I'm just saying I'm, it should be there somewhere. There's one. While you're trying to find them, I'm just going to do a quick them. roundup got because them. they're flying yep. out these. Yep. So I've got two available, two, both brand new to Sewing Street today. Start with the bucket and spades, which is the one we're doing. So you get the pattern, you get half a metre of your nude, and you get your panel for $19.99. Third of the stock has gone, been checked out. Lots in baskets. Beautiful. And then this one, where you get an extra half a metre of fabric thrown in for free. 
for no reason whatsoever. This, this one's called under the sea, so you get your pattern. You get your metre of beige, I know. And then you're getting this one. You are getting half a metre of fabric completely for free in there for £19.99. Uh, instructions on their own, how are they doing? Under the sea instructions on their own. So if you've got your own fabrics at home that you'd like to do in your own colour scheme, £9.99 for the under the sea cushion instructions. Now, it's interesting, more people have got the kit on this one than have got the pattern. Normally the pattern sell more than the kit, but this way it's the other way around today. And you're getting your half metre for free fabric, remember? And then your buckets and spades are instructions on their own. When I say instructions, you do get all the templates and everything you need for the whole shebang. So $9.99, that one's there's your bucket and spade cushion details. Right. Sorry, Cara, just let's do that quickly. That's okay. Have you found them all? Yes, I have. I yes. have. I had, didn't leave, leave them at home. Um, I think, was it a lady earlier um, has is decorating, or her grandson, uh, who's just been born? Oh, yes, yes, he's two and a half pounds. Two and yes. a half pounds. Oh. But decorating a nursery as an under-the-sea theme, oh, that would be so nice. Mm. And these cushions are so good because they are... Um, you know, soft for a child's room and things like mm. that. But, oh, congratulations. Oh, no. Right, so I've just cut out the pieces and then you can easily take off the pattern, uh, the bond web on the back. Okay. And we've got a couple of uh, windows on the sandcastle. Did you used to um, build sandcastles when In, you were uh, younger? Yeah, we used to go to... Oh, where did we go every day? Every day? Uh, every day. When I was very little, my mum used to pile us in the car in the summer holidays and we'd go, whether it was cold or anything, we'd always go. Oh, my gosh. And now I can't remember the name of it. I'm, I'm getting worried because <gasps> I'm getting so old and forgetful. Where did you live? La we lived in Louth in Lincolnshire. Right. And we went to, it was on the way to, do we go past Skegness? It'll come to me in a minute. It'll come to me. Not uh, Ma Mablethorpe. Or... Mablethorpe. Oh, there That's you go. That's it. That's it. Mablethorpe. It's Sandy Beach, I think, uh, yeah. isn't it? So did you used to Make build? Sand yeah, oh, exactly. brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Jackie's just bought the kit. Suzanne says, morning, John and Cara. I love Hel Helen Newton's designs too. And the panels are fantastic and so easy to use. I think the panels are going well um, today, my personal opinion, because I think to actually get um, a fabric that's like the sea yes. and the sky mm. would be a little bit trickier. Yeah. So maybe that's why um, we could chop my shirt well. up, I suppose. Yes, you could do. You could put the um, hot air balloons in the yeah. sky. So I'm just popping these lovely little round windows on the sandcastle. Okay. So who made the best sandcastles then when you were little? I can't really remember. I think my Uncle Jack did because he used to come oh. with us all the time. Yeah, but you had a fab childhood then. Oh, it was lovely. It was really, really lovely. I yeah. bet it was. But we used to go even if it was freezing cold. Yes. It didn't yes. matter. You'd be no. lying on the beach freezing. And no. we always have like egg sandwiches oh, to yes. take with us. And they always got sand in them and yeah. things. Yeah, and all wrapped up yeah. nice and warm when you got home. So I've popped those ones and then I've done the star as well. I've taken the paper off the back. I've still got the paper on the back of the... Um, of course. Otherwise I'll be sticking it to yeah. the applique mat. Pop that in position there. So those are the only two bits that I would actually do like this. Everything else I would then pop onto the actual mm -hmm. cushion. So Elaine said, I've bought the under the sea cushion, daughter having a baby in August, and her and the baby's nursery is also under the sea. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, very lovely. popular. Lovely, very popular. Lovely. It's going to look beautiful. Right. So we've got a lovely sun. Just check. I've got the um, paper off the back. And I would recommend to actually position everything on your ironing board. Right. Don't do it on the table and then move it over because that's when they could go walkabouts. Yeah. So we've got a lovely sun there. Then, so I'm just following the guy that um, Helen's got on the front there. So now that this is um, cooled down, I can peel the bonder web on the back. Got a lovely collection of um, bits and pieces on the side there. Uh -huh. Right, I'm going to bring that in because I want the sunglasses to be actually not um, in the seam of the cushion. So I've got my sunglasses there. I'm going to put the, so again, I can take the back of this off. 
and that's round about there. Now this um, is lovely because you can actually overlap onto the edge. And yep. I love the way that it's not just totally contained within the um, panel. Yes, that's why you there. do your borders yes. at the beginning, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. And then we've got a lovely flag. I'm going to pop that around about there. And then I just love this part. Uh, I really do. Building up. So, yes. And this is when you can play around with the positioning. But as I say, um, if you've never done it before, it is really good to actually follow Helen's um, instructions. Uh, right, there's this sand in the top of the bucket. Sue says she just brought back memories of our family sat on Brighton Beach all wrapped up in our jackets with oh. towels wrapped round and yes. the wind was so cold. Yes. You didn't mind though, did you? No. I remember the first time we took my daughter when she was little, um, she was in an all-in-one rain suit because it was in Ireland, I think it was, and she was only tiny. Yeah. She was just about walking. And... Um, you know, I've still got a photo of her, but she, you know, she and her dad were sort of with the bucket and spade yeah. and everything. It doesn't matter. But we were going it? to see. Did we're going you? to see. And my dad would take us till it was, I couldn't touch the bottom. You know, I oh still love gosh. that going deeper and deeper really? and deeper. And he was obviously able to stand up in it. But, and the, you're up, the water's up to here. Oh my God. And you hold on to your dad and there's no, there's, you can't feel it underneath. All that kind oh, of is lovely. a very vivid memory. Lovely, lovely. And I think that's what it is, isn't it? You're making memories. Yeah. So, so we've got the beach ball here. And, you know, you don't need any electronic items or anything like that to go onto a beach and just have fun, do yeah. you? So it gets back to your imagination. Yeah. It was really weird because I went a few years ago, we went on holiday to Petra and Jordan, and it, it was just, like, breathtaking, the scenery and the walks and seeing all the, the treasury and everything like that. And there were kids sitting there on their iPads playing games. And you're like, you're at one of the wonders of the world. Oh, gosh. And, you know, the parents were letting them just play on their iPads and things. I'm like, you should, they, it's not me, it's not for me to say how people to bring up the children. But, like, this is such an experience, actually being here. And all they want to do is play some game on their, on their iPad and things. Do you not find, though, it's like if you live in a stunning sort of place, you start to take it for granted. Yeah, but they were holiday makers. They were holiday makers. They were holiday makers, makers oh going on, on from our coach. Yeah, exactly. I love the fact that you could go anywhere in the world, though, um, and be on a lovely beach with all nationalities, especially yeah. maybe the Caribbean or something like that, and to just see kids being kids and having fun. Mm -mm. It's just so lovely. Yeah. So this is the top of the beach ball. So I'm just going to pop that there. Before I add anything else, I'm just going to... So the ice cream cones are going to go over the top. The spade is going to go there. I'm just going to actually press these ones in position. Okay. Because, I, you know, I, if I do move anything, they're going to go flying. So, mm -hmm. so again, with the applique mat, I'm hoping that we'll have time. We should have time to do some... Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You sound confident. <laughs> well, I know there's not a guest after. It's just me, you see, oh, so you I'll go. make time for you. There you go. And I think you said you've got some more of Helen's Yeah, well, that's why we've got all the cushions yeah. round. It's got more Helen's kits in the next hour. So, again, just make sure that you don't move something. Pop that over the top. I just love this technique. I really mm. do. There's just so many things, you know, I mean... It's lovely to see on Sewing Street so many designs coming through, so many different ones. Uh, yeah, no, and the, 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 the people who've made them and how they're, they all yes. look a little bit different, don't yes, they? Yes, definitely. Right, so I'm happy about that. If, um, you know, maybe they haven't stuck down, you can put the mat on again. Can you bring that over? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. That's this right. is what I do when I'm at home. <laughs> I sort of, oh, right, okay, that's not right. <laughs> We went um, to the Lake District, we went with friends, and um, w there were three families, <laughs> and uh, we had jigsaws. One of my friends talks the whole time when she's doing a jigsaw, and she's saying, all right, that piece needs to go there. And she's not talking to anybody. Oh, my word. She's just sort of um, placing the mm -mm -mm. pieces on. So that's like me doing this, Ooh, I think. Did you want to knock her, the <laughs> no, tray that she was making all. on? No, It just made us laugh. 
because we were saying, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Message across the bottom from yeah. Jeannie. Morning, everyone. Uh, John, I used to take my kids to Mablethorpe when they were younger. We used to stay in the caravan park. Oh, we didn't stay over. We drive all the way home. Loving the demo. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, because you were too far away. That's why. Yeah, yeah. We didn't used to stay over. We used to stay in the caravan park at Prestatin later, later years when we moved to um, Chester. We'd go to Prestatin. Um, Anne says, these would make wonderful cushions for my conservatory. Oh, would yes. Would you look over the water then, Anne? That'd be lovely. Oh, lovely. Or on um, people with caravans mm. or... Um, Narrowboats yeah, exactly. or things oh, like that. Alison Marion, Marion Alison. Yes. Uh, another message saying, I remember sitting on Tenby Beach in 1966 <gasps> when we won the World Cup oh and everybody gosh. cheered when we won. Oh, Julia. 1966. I know, I can remember it. <laughs> I can remember I wasn't into football then, but I can remember we were watching it. I think it must have been on a black and white television, obviously. Oh, we're living, definitely 66. Yes, and... Um, my mum was just so excited about it. And I was thinking, why is she excited? Yeah. You know, what's what's happening? What's going on? The first thing I remember like that is fl Concorde flying. What year was that? It was, seven, was that early 70s? Oh, my I gosh. I mean, I know I, I was a bit older, but I just remember that was the, ho the only time the whole family sat round the... Because my dad was a pilot as well. Oh, so we all sat round of, yeah. the television watching the, the first flight of wow. Concorde. It's funny, isn't it, how you have memories like that? I remember my mum just couldn't watch the game because it got so intense and everything. So oh. she'd go out of the room and i think, she'd do. I do that now. Oh, do you? I can't stand it. We were watching, um, I support Leicester. Yeah. And we were watching the FA Cup the other day and I, I just couldn't sit and watch it. It was just like, <gasps> so nerve-wracking. Oh. So it's really funny, isn't it? I, I, it's really weird if I'm watching a drama or a show like that and I don't think that I can see somebody doing, oh, so I don't like I watch soaps anymore, but somebody's doing something silly, I have to switch off. Really? And I think it's only a drama. It's only oh, make believe. Really? I'm thinking, oh, I'm really angry with them because I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> so I switch it off or walk out or something. Oh, uh, Donna says good morning everyone. Donna, it's 20 to 10. Have you just got up? <laughs> oh, poor Donna. I'm sure she's been busy. Yeah. She might have done all her jobs before yeah. she sat down. Yeah, maybe. So um, I'm just cutting out the legs. Again, on the smaller pieces, sometimes the bonder web comes apart yeah. from the fabric. So I just find it easier to actually just cut them individually. I've also ironed the um, seagull on and I've just lifted the bottom of his body because these legs are going to be slipped underneath his body. Oh yeah, of course. So let's just do the other one. So if the, if the bond web paper comes apart, then don't worry, you can just hold it in position and just cut out. So we're cutting on the, l the, the line that you've traced the design. What fabric are his legs made out of? Uh, I'll show you in a minute. I don't turn it over at the moment. No, no, no. Oh, seagull's feet. Yep. It's that's the yellow the one. Mine. Yeah. That's the one. So we'll just cut that out. Oh, Julie says yet again, I've given in. I've bought under the seat <laughs> my daughter who lives in West Kirby. Oh, oh. the North West. I was up that way at the week out there during the week. I thought it was the weekend, but it wasn't. It was Wednesday. Oh, that's lovely. As I say, these designs just, you know, especially with the weather we've been having. Yeah. It's just so lovely and brings back memories. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Rosina nice. says, um, I think I'm going to buy myself an Elna as a present when I get home from hospital. You're keeping me sane. Oh, oh. Rosina, you take care, my lovely. Buying a sewing machine is such a, a lovely step on your sewing journey. Um, you know, if you've done hand sewing and things like that, but to have your own machine and the possibilities are just endless, aren't they? Oh, yeah, totally. Making uh, so many different things. Now, Rosina, I don't want to add any undue pressure whatsoever. How many do you say we've got left? Right, we haven't even done a show yet. We haven't even done the show that we're planning on doing with the 570s and we're down to limited numbers already. I know. Oh, I don't know why I'm pointing. I'm not on. There you go. Right, last few pieces. So, what have you got left then? Uh, ice cream cone. Oh, ice cream. Oh yeah, Donna I says yes. I've been doing cream. my housework, John. I've oh, just there finished. There you go. 
I thought she'd been doing something really important. Yes. And then she's got the rest of the day that she can relax. Exactly. So I'm just popping the ice cream. So put that there. So the ice cream cone overlaps the border again. And then um, we're just going to overlap the sandcastle because that gives that three dimensional effect, yep. doesn't it? And this is where you can play around with, and this is where I played around with. I've put the white fabric at the top. I'm just checking that's the one with the glue. I will use the mat again. Oh, but oh yes, but that's you've done it differently I've done it, to I the. I have. I have. I got a little bit carried, carried away. Carried away. Yeah. Wasn't it a fab, an FAB? Wasn't that yeah. the red, white, and blue one? And then we've got the little. Oops. Oh, sprinkles are on the fab. Stick at the bottom. What you can do, and what I would get carried away with doing, is embellish once you've attached everything and maybe done your free motion, mm -hmm. then you could play around with um, hand embroidery. Mm. And you just said sprinkles, sprinkles on in your beads cream. or French knots or something like that. So, um, you know, this is just a start. So there we go. Who's having the lolly and who's having the ice cream? Would you, are you a lolly or an ice cream person? Uh, when I could eat dairy, I'd have been an ice cream person. Would you? Yeah. And what about lollies? Can you have those I, I, Yeah, but I find them boring. Do Unless you? it's like a magnum with ice cream and chocolate. I can't have either of those oh. now, so. And then Hannah liked the champagne one <laughs> that they did last year. Champagne magnum. Right, good job I did do the applique mat because I did have that the wrong way. Oh. Up. I know. Terrible, isn't it? So whilst it's still warm, you should be able to just peel that back and turn it over. Oh, it's cooling oh. down a bit. I'll just pop that on again. Hopefully just... There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's frayed a bit, but that's fine because it's going underneath. There you go. Right. right, so just the boat, and then we're ready to do some, we've got to... Free motion. Free, free motion. Got a bit of time left, so... I think um, it is worth spending your time when you're actually positioning everything. And I like to position everything before I start the free motion. Oh yes, definitely. Um, just because you know where everything's going to go. So my boat's going to go there, and then... The sales. Jewel says, Good morning, everyone. This reminds me of my lovely days with my dad. Precious Aww. memories. That's what you were just saying, wasn't it? About yeah. making memories when you're younger. Definitely. I lived um, on the coast in uh, Portsmouth, near Portsmouth, when oh, I was you? younger. Um, just outside Portsmouth, but we didn't have a car, so we used to go um, on the bus anywhere. Uh -huh. And um, Portsmouth Beach is not a beach, it's stones. Oh, okay. So that was tough, but then Hailing Island, parts of Hailing Island, which was near us, but we used to have to get the bus from home down to Hailing Island, and then there was a, a lovely steam train called Puffing Billy oh. that went down towards the... Um, the coast, the sea and everything. Oh. So, uh, as you say, you know, it's all memories, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. It's not stuck down. Might be a bit, that needs to go. I see Marilyn said, I watched the first and last Concorde flight. She's now in her own museum here in Bristol. Wow. Didn't it know was that. It was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Mm. Really impressive. So what planes did your dad used to well, my dad used to fly Spitfires. Did he really? Back in the day, yeah. And then he moved on to Varsities. Varsities, Varsities I've which heard is of a that. great big. It's an RAF plane. It's not a right. You know, um, uh, and then he, uh, when he was in the RAF, they as soon as you had to wear glasses, they wouldn't let you be a pilot anymore. Oh. And the day he found out he had to wear glasses was like the saddest day in his life because oh. he just loved, Gosh. absolutely adored flying. Oh goodness, it's tough. I think when. Uh, when you do enjoy something like that, mm. it's like um, I've had to get new glasses because um, my eyesight, obviously, as you get older, it's not so good. Um, but I was thinking the other day for people who aren't able to carry on with their passion, mm. 
It must be so tough. Mm. Must be so tough. Um, right. So with a friction pen, I'm not going to draw everything. That's not uh, stuck. Friction pens on the on the website. Just two seconds, lost. Cara, did you have an ice lolly or, or oh, a ice lolly or a lolly ice? Ooh, oh, don't know. Can't remember. A lot of ice lollies, but um, when I was younger, the ice creams used to be wrapped in paper. Did you used to get like a yeah, cone? Yeah, yeah. And then wrapped in paper, yeah. and then you had the actual cone itself. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like it is today. Uh, please be aware that today, like I was saying earlier, the patterns are normally more uh, uh, more popular than the bundles. The bundles are far more popular than the pattern on its own today. Because it's like Cara was saying, it's got the seaside fabric on it already. We've got fat. We've because the panels are exclusive to us, and we've designed between Helen and and Sewing Street and everything. They've designed all the fabrics and everything for the panels. So with the friction pen, I actually use the friction pen a lot on the design, um, because I find when I'm actually in the moment of doing my free motion, mm -hmm. um, I need. To have that extra guidance of course. and um, especially when you've got white fabric against a light fabric yes you um, want that extra so I'm just feeling the fabric moving slightly here so I didn't press it down I'm not going to iron I'm going to move the iron because I'll be tempted to iron it again oh no and you know not. with friction pens yeah. that will just disappear won't it so these are the turrets on the sand castle and then we've got the line going up and going across so i'm going to this is the first one i'm going to free motion and i'm keeping everything crossed that this machine is okay because you did say that we had a problem with this one the other day yeah but um i'm hoping that there we go um then just the door there and you're not going to be exact on the line of all of these um, because when you're doing your free motion, you may find that you don't do it exactly on the line, but because it's a friction pen, mm -hmm. you'll be able to um, iron, it off. iron it off afterwards. Then Helen suggests a black thread. Right. Um, I don't have enough black thread to do all of these, so I tend to choose a dark thread that right. goes um, with the design. With this one, I've actually gone with the brown. I thought the brown would be quite mm -hmm. nice. So, right, okay. I don't know why I've got pins, because I didn't need those. Um, check your machine if it's got um, a darning foot or something like that, or mm -hmm. a free motion foot. And um, this particular one has a free motion foot, which is fa fabulous. There is a section there that I can see where I'm stitching. You'll drop the feed dog, so that's the teeth that actually pass the fabric through. Uh -huh. So you're going to be in control, and in fact, I think I just need to drop them there. And then I've got a dark brown thread on the top and a dark brown thread on the bottom. Before you start, you may actually want to have a, a little bit of a go, yeah. just to sort of get your confidence. And then um, I use <laughs> I use these, and I thought. How did I manage before without them? I just find them so easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So easy. Well, they've got little nodules on the fingers, haven't they, to hold on both sides so you can hold the fabric and everything. Uh, you can wash them, don't tumble dry them, obviously. And they are called so easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Oops. Don't know what I pressed there. Just make sure. So my teeth are down, threaded my um, top and my bottom. Oh, that's come out. You can't use a mobile phone when you've got these on either. Oh, no, because you can't <laughs> press the things. Can you? No, you can't. Uh, my friend swipe. Nadine, Nadine Bagger, the beauty editor, she can't, her fingers don't, she can't have a touch. Touch screen. Touch screen, because I think her fingers just don't work on oh touch screen gosh, phones. Oh, my gosh, why? I don't know. I wonder. Okay, um, so I find position your um, fabric underneath the needle. Mm -hmm. um, I find if you pop the needle down towards the fabric, want to put the lever down there and then when you're close to the fabric and you're happy with the position you can actually put the needle in the down position and right. it's always good when you're doing free motion 
to end with the needle down. Right. Um, and when you're actually stitching, you want to breathe. You want to be nice yes. and relaxed. Yeah. You want to feel that if you need to, you can stop. And if you've got your needle down in that position, you can do that. So, right, um, let's have a get started. So the speed that you're actually putting the fabric through, so the speed at which I'm pushing will determine the length of your stitch. Yeah. If, you, if you push very slowly, you'll have very um, tight, small stitches. If you push very fast, then you'll have longer stitches. Yeah. You also want to, um, on the machine, have it uh, at a medium sort of setting to start okay. with. You don't want it too slow or too fast. And you're moving your fabric rather than turning yeah, your fabric. Yeah, this is where I, yeah. I didn't, so, didn't go. If you just look at that now, Emma, because we can see we're going like, that oh, machine's making a strange it is noise making, this morning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Right, so this next bit, you go Horizontally across. and down. Yeah. And what we're doing, we're going to do, that's not right, but no. anyway, I'm going to carry on. Yeah, 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 we've only got um, a couple of minutes. You're going to do two lines of stitching. So you'll come back on yourself. And this just gives a sketch sort of type feel to it. Almost sounds almost like the bobbin's loose inside yeah, or something, doesn't well, it? Yeah, well, I even looked, we yeah. even took oh, no, the I plate mean, off, yeah, didn't yeah. we? So, um, we'll sort it out. Jane's in tomorrow, so we can ask yeah. Jane tomorrow. It's still doing it, so, you know, we're still that Yeah, but it's not, it, you can tell it's not yeah. happy, is it? So you can see it's very, very easy to um, follow the lines that I've already put on there, so... Uh -huh. jumped over if you if your fabric does jump don't worry just move back again and mm. when you come to neaten it off you can get rid of that stitch yeah so I'm just going around the edge <laughs> yeah. I don't know if everybody can hear that but it's going it is chugging and down and it is just so much easier when you have got that line there mm -hmm. so when you come back to where you started I usually leave my fabric in the one position and I do a few stitches in that one position oh, so okay the stitch so like a locking undo. stitch yeah. But, yeah. Um, but then I'll show you I've got my little scissors so, as I say, that one didn't press down, so it's a little bit um, raised. But yeah, so you before can you see start, just iron it again yes. to make sure it's all... Before you, yep. No, before you put the friction, friction pen, pen on, yes. give it an extra iron yep. so it's definitely down. Definitely. So that's what you'll do. You'll do that twice all the way round, and then I'm just going to do um, the bottom and the door. Right, you hope. And the same method is used for all of um, Helen's designs. So, um, you know, once you've done one, mm -hmm. it's not like you've got to learn a different technique. Um, but then start being a little bit more adventurous and do your own layout and your own choice of um, fabrics yeah. and everything. There. Are there any bits that we should look out for, do you think, on this one? Um, let me have a look. No. Okay. Not really. I think the positioning is really important. Um, there's a line which we can add. Um, as I say, it's, it's really good to use the friction pen. There's a line there that depicts the actual sand. Right. So you can add the line there. Um, also, you've got seagulls at the top there. Oh, just put it to, that's it, perfect. So you've got a few seagulls there. And then the um, flagpole. flagpole. 
just goes up there and you'll do a few stitches there perfect um no and then just a couple of pebbles so around here you can do a couple of okay so she makes us do as much as you want or yes. as you want can't you? yeah uh, could you just get the under the sea one down? Yes. And just very quick, because we're out yes. of time now, but just yep. have a look at that one, see if the, so we can see where you've stitched on, yep. the, um, on the under the sea yep, one. Yeah, definitely. As long as not everything falls down. No, you would be all right. So same sort of method, um, exactly the same method, and you can see there's layers Yes. So the only thing that I would say with this particular one, you'll see that some of the, um, what are they called? Angel fish. Angel fish um, are in front of the seaweed and some are behind. So um, to give that three-dimensional oh, yes, effect, yes, yes, you, yes. you've got that. You've also got some of these lovely fish. Guppies. <laughs> <laughs> stripy fish. Long stripy fish. <laughs> and again, you've got some of those um, in front and behind, you've got the um, paw of the turtle there. Paw? The paw, the <laughs> flipper. <laughs> what, <hi>. Flipper. Flipper. <laughs> flipper. I would imagine. Um, um, behind the um, bat. Yeah, <laughs> seaweed. <laughs> seaweed. And then actually with this one, you've got it sort of going yeah. in front and behind. So this is really important to before you do any ironing, to place it and work yes. out what's going behind and what's going on yes. top and things. Yes, and on this one, I don't think there was anything that I ironed on first. There okay. wasn't. Um, you've got these lovely sort of curly lines on, or the scales on the fish there. You've got the eyes of the crab and his smiley face. Yep. You've got the um, water coming out of the whale there. And um, yeah. Beautiful. It's just lovely, Beautiful. and again, What's lovely about the panel is that you've got the three different sort of yeah, fabrics. depths of the water, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, which is great. Brilliant. Now you're back in an hour. Yes. And you're making that, the bag that's on Gorgeous the shelf there. Gorgeous bag there. there. Re really, easy. There. Really, really easy. Really easy. Best studly bag coming up. I've just up. said that, haven't I? So what? <laughs> I better make it easy. Yeah, oh yeah, this way it'll all go wrong. <laughs> she'll, she'll be using the 570 in the next hour. We're yes. going to send that one off for a service. Yes. Right. Very quickly then, which one first? This one here, uh, buckets and spades. So what you get is you get your instructions with all the templates. You get your half a meter of nude and you get the panel with all the different fabrics on that you need there. 19.99, very, very popular that one. 19 pounds and 99 pence. The other bundle, the under the sea, you are getting half a meter for free in this bundle for some reason. So what you get, you get the instructions, you get one meter of fabric and that's the beige and you get the panel that you need to do all the bits, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Brilliant. All the other bits I mentioned, like the stitch and tear, the bonded web, the iron on interfacing, they're all underneath us on the web, not on, on pre-order now, they're actually on show deals now, they're all underneath there. Do you want to do the patterns on their own first? Or, yep. Right, under the sea pattern on its own. Nine ninety nine. If you've got all your own fabric at home, there'd be a you know you could make your own colourway, couldn't you? Your own colour version. If you are doing your newborn baby or your grandchild's uh, room and they've got a colour scheme, then you could do it all into the colour scheme, couldn't you? That's that one. And then the other one, the buckets and spades one. $9.99 again for the pattern. I don't know what she's doing under that tape. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear her Sorry. rustling and giggling <laughs> over there? <laughs> right, there's your buckets and spades. Right, do not go anywhere after the break. It's just me on my own some, and I'm doing kits revisited. Now, if you love Helen Newton, I've got kits for all of these coming up after the break and lots, lots more. Uh, I'll see you in four from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Hi, I've been asked to do a little bit of an introduction about me, so here goes for Sewing Street. I'm Sally Ann Harrison. I'm based in the UK in Bristol. Um, I lived here all my life, apart from a short stint in North Carolina, where I lived um, for three years from 2000 to 2003. I specialise in patchwork and quilting. I'm a complete patchwork and quilting addict. I love small piecing, I love wool applique, all forms of applique, um, and I also like making small little crafty projects. How did I get into sewing? Well, I've sewn all my life. I remember the first thing I ever made was um, like a little bikini top from one of my mother's old overalls when I was about nine. Um, I got married when I was about 20, 21, and started making curtains at that time. So I was a curtain maker for a long period of time, but it was in 2000 when I moved to the US that I really got into quilting big time. I discovered a local patchwork and quilting store. I took classes, um, I made loads of quilts. I made some fantastic friends. Um, I met a great tutor called Michelle May. Um, and by the time I left, I was actually beginning to exhibit in 2003. So that's how I got into doing what I do. Tell us something unexpected about yourself. Well, one of the, the strange things about me is that I'm the world's worst knitter. Um, I can do most crafts. I crochet, I do punch needle, I do obviously patchwork and quilting and dressmaking, but knitting, mm -mm. I The pins go in all sorts of weird directions. I have to concentrate. If anybody you know, rings the doorbell, I can't stop mid-row. I am the world's worst knitter. Sewing tips to share with viewers. Um, it's got to be the beard trimmer trick. I mean, why use an unpicker when you can use a beard trimmer to take out the se seams that you've sewn incorrectly? It's just the best tip ever, I reckon. And a claim to fame. Probably my claim to fame based on my sewing career was that in 2017 I was invited to the Houston Quilt Festival, the International Quilt Festival, and it was there that I demonstrated some wool applique. It was a fantastic experience and if anyone's debating going to the International Quilt Festival next year, go. It is absolutely fabulous. And that's a bit about me. Thank you very much for listening. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. In 
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. So I got myself all settled over there and then Anna was like, oh no, you're starting on the other table. So I had to come all the way around to do this. Right, Helen Newton patterns and bundles I've got here. Where shall I start? Let's start with this one. Let's start with puddles. Because it's here, then it's, it's, and I'll have a space in the middle, won't I? If you love fun in the puddles, right, so you get the panel, you get a half a metre of fabric, and exactly the same as the kit earlier, and the instructions with all the templates, there they are, to make this one. 6th of May, this one was demoed, 6th of May. Cute, isn't it? That's that one, so you get half, now it's a bit different red to the pattern there, but you get the red for, the, for your border and your back of your cushion. You get the huge panel there. Look at the wall and everything you get in there. Actually, 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 can I just say, look at the size of this panel. Now, that size panel is $14.99 on its own normally, isn't it? Look. In fact, my, no, because my, what's it of the month? Oh, I'm sorry there's nothing on the shelves because I've got them all here. But look, that's a, that's a really good deal, that one. So that's 19 99 for that huge panel. You get the half a metre of red and you get the instructions. 19 99 for fun in the puddles. Fantastico. Right, so that one's there, fun in the puddles. Right, now next, Hannah, where would you like to go next? Harbour. That's this one here. Very popular on pre-order this one. So you get the instructions, you get the panel, and you get half a metre of fabric. And with that, you'll be able to make this. Oh, wrong way. That. Now, that one's £21.99, you see. Is, he, is it an even bigger panel, then? Oh, hang on. No, I've got a fat quarter. I've got a fat quarter in there as well. That's why. There you go. That makes sense now. So that'll be for that bit there, won't it? £21.99. You'll get everything you need to make that cushion. Obviously, you don't get um, a cushion pad. You just get everything to make the cushion cover. The flow. The flow. The flower shop next, which is this one. Now you get more fabric again in this one. So you get half a metre of your chartreuse. Oh, we've gone back to 19.99 on this one. And you get a fat quarter. Maybe the panel's a bit smaller. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's the same size as the panel from this one, isn't it? 19.99. And you can make that beauty. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, you could swap that around. If you wanted, you could swap the fabrics for the pots and things like that around. It could say cafe, but then you'd have to make little tables and cups and saucers, wouldn't you? Yes. No, out here. Oh, you'd have to put, you'd have to put a, a, a silhouette of Hannah and a friend having coffee in the coffee shop. Yes, you do, because you met one for coffee this week. Didn't you meet Lucy this week for coffee? There you go. Yeah, I'll tell Lucy. Oh, she's got no friends, Lucy. You weren't counted. Washing line next. This is cute. This is this one. 
1999 this one. So what you get on this one is you get the um, pattern, you get the fat quarter of cream, you get half a meter of blue, and you get the panel. Oh, we're back to a bigger panel now. The panel there, so that's for your borders, and then there are all your washing clothes on the line and everything. £19.99. Yeah, I had the same imagine because you'd have to buy a fat quarter of all those different fabrics, wouldn't you, if you went out to buy it? You're not wrong, Hannah, says Emma. The fleet. And then last but not least in the Helen Newton uh, section of this kicked roundup, the elephants. Loads of people want asking about the elephants. There they are. $17.99, this one. Okay, this one, you just get fabric, right? You, uh, you get the instructions. You get the pink, half a metre, fat quarter of cream, fat quarter of grey, fat quarter of green. And then you have to, do, oh, and you have to do your own balloons. Yeah, look, Cara's obviously used a little, just a little stash for there, and the ears as well. Check in. So pink's border, cream's background, green's grass, grey's elephant. So all the other colours on this one, you need to have your own little stash for the balloons, the ears and the flowers. Seventeen ninety nine. that one. Right, I'm going moving now. Off we go. I know, look at this. Melange of goodies I've got on the desk here. Panel behind me. Oh, hang on, I need to go that way so you can have a close-up of it. Come on, Emma, in your own time. 11 99 that gorgeous panel. It's Noble Menagerie. Noble Menagerie. Aren't they low? Bobby Head. Half the stock went in preview. There's another row there. How many rows are there? Four. Let me get out the way so you can have a proper look. Right, okay. I'm getting out the way so Emma can show you them close too. So you've got a cat, a goat, a llama, a dog, a rooster, a sheep, uh, a pig, a cow, another rooster or the chicken. Is that a chicken, that one there? Behind the fence, that one, in jail. Rabbit, horse, and goose. Cow's got his tongue. But can you just have a look? Can you go into one of them closely? Look at the background. They're like mosaics. The backgrounds are like mosaics. It's happening. Eleven ninety nine. This. Gorgeous, the colours, aren't they? The, the best one is the bottom right, I think, the goose. Because the background is like a patchwork. We show, whoa, right, go to the right. Look, look at the background on that one. £11.99. Look at the pig, the pigs. Oh, actually, it, uh, the, I've just realised that it's not just the background. You see, all the animals are made up of it as well. No, you don't have to keep it as a panel like that. Mind you, it's like a, like one of um, Emma Bradford's window, you know, uh, attic windows, isn't it? Oh, oh, no, I wouldn't give them away. Hannah's saying she'd make gifts for people. Right, someone like cats, someone likes dogs. Emma would, uh, uh, Emma would want the cockerel. I'm having the sheep for the sheep in the field behind me. Hannah's having the llama because she bought llama walking for her mum and dad. They do that round here. If I take a shortcut through to, te to Sainsbury's, not Sainsbury's, Tesco's, there's a llama walking place on the, right, the left-hand side just past Gem, uh, Gem, um, Jewelry Maker. Yeah, Hannah, we've got the hang of it. The horse can go to somebody who likes horses. The cow can go to somebody who likes cows. 
Right, I'm coming back in now. Oh, got a nice message from Marina. And does it say Marina? It says Marie. Oh, John, my under 570 has just arrived. I'm so excited. Love, Marie. Marie, you are going to love it. You're going to love it. Now, I do need to... Right, now, I'm a bit... I don't know how to explain this, right? So, we knew that the 570s had come back in stock. And I said to uh, Kat, oh, let's just mention it. Let's mention it. We won't, I'll, I'll just show it and I'll just mention it. You'll see it in the next hour, right, with um, Cara. Cara's going to use it in the next hour, right? And uh, can I just say, though, um, they've nearly all sold out. We haven't even done the show on it yet. We haven't done a show on it yet and they've nearly all gone. We've got a question from Pauline saying, loving the show and demonstration. Does the sewing machine come with an extension table, please? Yes, that one. You mean, now, which one do you mean? You mean the 570? The 570, well, they both do anyway, but we haven't got the 680 in stock at the moment. But the 570 definitely, it's here, right there. It's here. Look, with the 570, you get this table and you get the hard case. So I'm just putting it down. Right, so that's the 570. It's got, uh, it's got everything. If you've got any questions about it, let me know. Right, I'm, I'm going to say one thing, and I know you're bored of me saying this, but I love you to get, I love you when you get a bargain, right? I love you anyway, but I love it for you to get a bargain, right? I know it's £599, but you can get it on split pay. It'll pop down now. Right? But please, 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 just uh, gargle, I was going to say that. <laughs> Yahoo, Google or Bing, just write in the Elna 570. Remember the A? Because it comes with an alphabet, or two alphabets, really. To, right? Just, just anywhere. You can go anywhere, Right? And you'll see it for, for more than we're selling it for. A lot more than we're selling it for. Not like £5 or £10 or anything like that. A lot more. And remember, your P&P is still only 3 95 And if you've already bought, say you bought the early bird, right? Or the panel of the week, right? That's your P&P paid for. It includes the sewing machine if you buy a sewing machine. They're ready to be shipped from Stockport. So as soon as we take your... If, well, I, now, the other thing is you don't have to take... Uh, split pay if you don't want to. If you want to pay for it out in one go, you can do. As soon as we either take your 599 or your 19966, it will be shipped to you. Like, literally, Elna are waiting to ship it. Margaret got hers within days of, of buying hers. And look, here's a quick one. What is that one? Uh, 699. 699, that one. I don't think they've got any in stock, have they? None in stock. That is a direct, direct comparison. It is the same sewing machine. But you can go anywhere. Go anywhere and have a look. You'll see. Morning, John and everyone from Maria in Largs. Oh, hello, Maria in Largs uh, in sunny Scotland again. I've just placed an order. Great buy. Thank you. What have you bought? What have you bought? Maria in Largs. Largs. I was saying this the other day. Remember that hugest um, uh, lottery win ever? That was in Largs. It was a lady called Margaret. Not, not you, is it, Maria? Margaret, she was called. Panel on the wall behind me is sold out. Oh, but, 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 if you love it, on the website, it looks like it's the same size. It's not. This is fabric by the half metre, look. Now, it, it, is just, it is fabric by the half metre, it's not cut, is it? Yep, definitely, 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 definitely by the half metre. Look! Aren't they beautiful? I love them. Oh, hang on. Samantha said she'll have the Anglo-Nubian goat, please, please. Hang on. Where's that then? Oh. Oh, there. No. Is that it? No. Which one's the goat? I've got, on the big one, it had a goat, didn't it? Where's the goat gone? There was definitely a goat on the panel, wasn't it? That's, is that a goat? That's the llama, isn't it, that one? How weird. <laughs> it 
it's definitely gone, isn't it? Oh no, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, I'm here, sorry. Anyway, this is by the half meter. Hundred percent look how wide it is as well. There you go, that's it by your half meter. How many cats are in the half meter? Oh, I don't know, because it depends where they cut it. Where they cut it, um, uh, who was that princess? I can't tell you, because if they cut it a bit lower down, you might lose a cat. Can't guarantee where they're going to cut it. In this half meter, I can see one, two, three, four. I can see four in this one. But it depends where they cut it, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? I love the aubergine colour behind as well. Well, it's upside down now, I do apologise. That'll make you all look, be looking at your telly a bit weird, won't you? There you go. Oh, I think it's beautiful, that. Let me see what's below for you, please. Is it? You see, if you made a lovely 50s skirt out of this, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Big 50s circular skirt. I've got some more animal panels. Right, hang on a sec. Now, this is the one that Wendy's bought. Oh, no. This. Is that, what was that code? What was the code of the panel? No, no, not the panel. This, this, sorry, the half meter. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Yesterday, we found about four of them loose. We gave them all to Elliot. And after the show, we said, Elliot, where are those four labels that we gave you? He said, oh, we've thrown them away. But ironically, we weren't missing any when we came to pack up. It was very odd. Right, I've got the leopard. Now, we were thinking, if asking uh, Emma if we, because we did an attic window this week, whether we could do an attic window with this, but you couldn't. But Wendy has got bought this, and she's bought the uh, leopard print from earlier, and she's bought some le leopard fleece for the back. This is called the Hoffman Call of the Wild. No, princess, no silly question, no question silly. Don't be ridiculous. There's just one cat on this one though, princess. Fewer than 20 of those. Oh, it's very dramatic, isn't it? Dramatic, I'd say. Right, but I've also got swans in the same um, vein. Are they swans or geese? I can't remember now. Swan. Oh, that's a different shape, that one. Oh, no, sorry. I unpacked these. Well, that's, my, that's me. No, I was still in a good mood when I, got, when I was unpacking this one at the beginning. It was by the end of the hour, this one was bad. I could feel, you know, when you can feel the anger rising inside. Oh, oof. But it was so late by then. Right, you know, that's Swan. Now, I've also got another panel, haven't I? Animal one, yeah, that's right, this one here. Okay. This is your chalkboard. Elephant, monkey, cheetah, zebra, giraffe, and lion. Fourteen ninety-nine. Michael Millar. It's lovely, isn't it? I'll hold up a bit more. There you go. Ooh, I need to get back to the gym. My arms. I can't go to the gym because my personal trainer. Well, I can, I can, but my personal trainer. Um, he's in one of those competitions in two weeks' time, you know, like the, where well, they go like that, standing in their little posing pouches. He's in one of those. He's done ever so well during uh, lockdown. He took all the weights home and did, carried on training. I didn't do that. No, you, you weren't allowed to. I asked. And um, he also got engaged during um, lockdown as well, which is nice. Right, so these go with that, don't they? 
So these are three fabrics from that range of the panel that I just showed you. There are a few others on the website. These are the ones we're showing you today. Stripey one first. I've got a panel coming up soon that Hannah absolutely adores, just so you know. Won't it have sold out by then? There you go. Pretty, isn't it? The stripes do go down. Oh, thank you, Anna. Not patronising at all. No. How many days of your six days did you drink, did you say? Oh. Uh, <laughs> So she came in this morning. First of all, Hannah thought she was coming back yesterday because she texted the cat going, is it me or is it you tomorrow? So she had six days off. She came in this morning going, I've only, I've only drunk on four of the days. I've only drunk on four of the days. And she went, oh, no, it was five. Right, which is next? I was a bit worried on the one where you had a tabletop and about 30 shot glasses. Oh, they were for free. And so how many of those did you have? Well, Kat, Kat also went out on Monday, right? She went out on Monday and they do this thing where it's called... No, when she didn't call it... It is bottomless, but she didn't say brunch. She said it was the drink, the cocktails. Bottomless cocktails. So when you arrived, they had their table booked. They were all socially distanced. They arrived, they sat at the table. They took your order straight away for what drink you wanted immediately. And then you were able to choose your food. So they brought the drinks and you chose your food. And then every time they brought you another drink, you ordered your next one straight away. So she was only there for two and a half hours and you didn't have to have the same drink. It wasn't bottomless as in you can have a pina colada, you have to have pina coladas all for two and a half hours. She could just have what she ended up, oh, I just had champagne in the end. Yeah, casual. Anyway, this is lovely. Cat. She came yesterday, she came to work yesterday, wouldn't go, oh, I didn't mean to drink. And then she got home, right, so she had mac and cheese and all these cocktails, right, and, and then, then champagne. And she got home and decided she wanted a, a Burger King. So she went, so she had a delivery Burger King, uh, and then she wondered why she was up half the night being a bit poorly. And then poor old Liam, her boyfriend, came home and he ordered something else, something, a Chinese, I think, on delivery or something like that. So there's all this food in the house, anyway. That's the spot. Then we've got the animals. Very popular, this next one. Look. ah, So these are the same animals that are on the panel. You know the black and white panel? But in colour. True to life colour, obviously. Because you obviously get red lions. Or is the orange one not so angry then? Is there a green one for a happy one? Oh, there might be, actually. No, there's a green zebra. Oh, look, there's a lime uh, giraffe. I'd say that was lime, wouldn't you? Oh, it's a little yellow on the telly. Beautiful. Now. The panel Hannah loves... Okay, so do you want me to do the panel on its own first? Or is that 38? Right, are you ready? Oh, it's huge! Now, it's funny that Hannah likes this one because it's all about happiness, right? Be the sunshine. This one says you can never have too much happy. It's not all sunshine and lollipops, but a good amount of it actually is. Anything is possible. Find your happy place. Hannah's still looking. Old-fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat. Oh, happy day. But look at these blocks here. Nine patch, flying geese, half square triangles. Uh, churn dash is that one? Is that churn dash? No, Chen has got two of those, is not it? I don't know what that one's called. And then the French, the star, the Hawaii, uh, 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 star. Uh, 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 star. 
And then look, you've got all your flying geese all down the side. It's the most beautiful panel. How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. It's beautiful. It do, now, it does come in a bundle as well. It do, we have got a bundle for this as well, but I just want to see the panel on its own. We what, Jose, Hannah? Oh, the, the bundle's limited, apparently. It's lovely, isn't it? This is, this is oh, no, no, it's not one of ours. I thought this was, oh, it's Riley Blake, of it is. Happy Day by Ricky Gervais. Gervais. Yeah. Or Sandy Gervais. Sorry. Friend, friend of Ricky's. Right, okay. So that's the, that's the panel on its own. Now the panel in the bundle, oh, this is, comes with two fabrics. Look at these. Okay, so this is the bundle. We've shown you the uh, panel on its own. Which of those fabrics have got on its own? Right, that, this one is not available on its own. So I've got this one, but if you want the bundle, that's your bundle there. So you get the panel, half a metre, half a metre, £29.97. They're lovely, aren't they? Let me so this is one you can, uh, today, you can only get this one in the bundle. It's lovely, isn't it? It's very exuberant, I'd say. Gorgeous. Then the other fabric you get, as well as the panel, which you've already seen, is this one, which has got all of the ingredients of the panel but on the fabric in a smaller print look. Oh. Four bundles left. Four bundles left for twenty nine ninety seven. That's four left at twenty five to eleven on Wednesday morning. Oh, it's great, but she's saying big again tonight, isn't it? Where do the weeks go? They fly by, don't they? It's quarter final, isn't it tonight? Then, this fab oh, this fabric on its own now. This fabric on its own. By the half metre, 100% cotton, quilting weight. You are funny, you and Hannah should have a double act. We do, our whole life is a double act. Ooh. These strawberries, are, no, not strawberries, what are they? Raspberries, very... Anyway, it's by the half metre. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Why? Well, it's because we had to do so much in the break, it didn't get a chance. Okay, where was it when you last saw it? Oh no, I haven't been on a trolley for weeks. Right. Okay, which one are they then? Lewis and Irene, these are glow in the dark, but you'll have to believe me. Pink one. I might have. Just, I'll, I'll just put this on the table. We're just going to look for the uh, UV torch. Six, oh, it's only six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. This is small things that glow. <laughs> no, that's not right. Small things glow night on blush. I know, but that doesn't make sense, does it? Small things glow night. That's a stapler. Oh no. <laughs> Hannah, so I found the torch, found the torch. It's a stapler. I didn't find it. She no, thought that, found it this uh, she thought she'd found it this morning, but it was a stapler she's been holding on to since. <laughs> Can you hear her in the background? Anyway, you'll have to believe me about that one. I've also got it. Oh, 
Oh, she found it. She's found it. Oh, no, she's not found it. Never mind, we'll move on. Got the grey one. I like this one. Yeah. I'm presuming it's these that light up in the dark, these white bits. Have they not put on the website a picture of it with the... Um, they normally put... No. Okay. Not to worry. Gorgeous. Jane and Rihanna enjoy my show. Oh, this! My granddaughter thinks the bottom, it's from the Long River. It's from the Long River for Amazon, right? And somebody sent me a message the other day going, John, you say Tesco, Sainsbury's and Waitrose all the time. How come you can't say Amazon? I don't know. I don't know. But make sure you get the one that's got a straw that goes down. Well, have you still got yours? No, she hasn't used it for a long time. It's got a straw that goes from the mouthpiece down. Hannah's hasn't got it. Yours has got, if she's got this mouthpiece then. Oh, yeah, make sure it's got this little mouthpiece on it and everything. Um, anyway, I'll move on. Yep. Yep, this is, uh, now, this is lovely. This is really, look at these fabrics, they're beautiful. This is Mrs. Uh, McAtamney of Village Fabrics. Oh, that's what we're going to do. Can you can you have a look on the web for the um, row of the row of the month? Thank you. Eighteenth of May. Eighteenth of May. It's when we did this. It's very very simple. This one, lovely, isn't it? Everything in there for the front. And the binding. There it all is. Lovely colours. Beautiful fabric. And then th those squares. It's all around those floral squares. There it is. All finished. Beautiful. You just need wadding and backing to go with that. $49.99. Got this in two colourways. That's the uh, tropical flower. Oh, no, they're both called tropical flowers. Oh, that one's black. Right, and then this one will be called cream. Oh, it's a sketch because it's the, the, the floral fabric. Look, it's the, based on the floral fabric. That one's more tonal, isn't it? That's what that one looks like. $49.99. Okay, I'll, I'll do one other thing from uh, Mrs. McAtamney first, which is this. Now, I thought these had sold out. This was such a lovely project. We had them in all different colours. You only got it in the blue now. You get everything you need. You even get the, uh, the notebook in there. You get the ribbon. You should get in there, there's, I'm sure there's a covered button in there as well. Or button two cover in there. I can't feel it at the moment, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Uh, there's the finished book cover, 1999. It's pretty, isn't it? Okay, now, something I haven't got here, but somebody mentioned earlier. When last time Mrs. Macadamia Nut was in, she brought us row of the month, which you know like block of the month. But we're doing a quilt that is row of the month. And the first one was 49 dollars 99 That was two rows. That was two rows. No? Right? This is the... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Right, right, right. We're doing rows one and two. That's what you get in this parcel for 49 99 Now, completely and utterly sold out on the day. Completely sold out. 
right? So if you have a look at that picture, the top half of the quilt isn't washed out like that in real life. All we're doing is we're just showing you the first two rows. Here's the finished quilt. That's the finished quilt, right? But what we're doing is each month we're doing a different row. So next month will be the flowers. The month after that will be the houses. The month after that will be the shop and the trees. The month after that will be the flying geese. A month after that will be the stars. And that same month will be also be the binding. But each one has a different technique. So the first two rows, which we're doing here, you've got your uh, courthouse steps and your log cabin. And then you've got your zebra crossing with your little black cat. So there's a plique on there. Then the next one is um, um, bias, bias applique, hand applique. Then there's some uh, FPP in there. There's all sorts, but this one that we're doing today is the bottom two rows. Now, I know that she was limited. Uh, it was limited, right? She was limited. So we sold everything we had on that day. She said, I can go home and I can cut a few more. They're obviously back on. We haven't been told that they were back. Oh, I haven't been told they were back on. D does it say there how many you've got? Oh, half of them have gone. Half of the ones that, well, almost half, almost half. I can, I can tell you, I'll be honest with you, right? Yvonne said she could do us an extra 50, right? And there's only 27 left. And I didn't even know it was back. I didn't even know it was back. So each month, right? So what day did we demonstrate on? Did I have said that? 18th of May. 18th of May is when you want to see the, the demonstration of the bottom two rows. Now, we did have a whole list of all the dates, didn't we? We'll find out. We'll find out for you when she's back next. It's like once a month. She's back once a month. 22nd of June. Oh, now, Laurie says, I love the teal option, but I like the purple one as well. Which one do you mean? What, what's that then? Oh, the quilt. Do you mean the quilt? Yeah, anyway, anyway. So that, those are there. If you want those, if you want those, please come and get, because when those 27 are sold, that's it. We can do no more. That's it. There's no more to be had once that 27 have gone. Say this again. Mm. Anyway. It's you. It's not, I'm working for you now, not me. Uh, go on. Right now I've got, I thought this, oh no, right now, we had this the other day, that, uh, this is the one I'll show you in a minute, right, and, and it's a cat went, oh it's sold out, sold out, and I said, I'm sure I've got that with Hannah, anyway, she looked, and Hannah had already stashed it into the today's hour. Anyway, look, this is your squiggly back, this is extra wide backing, it's 108 inches wide, it's still at the Hannah price, $8.99. And it's 100% cotton. It doesn't just have to be used for backing. It can be used for dressmaking or piecing or anything you want it to be used for. It's a lovely, lovely cotton. Very popular it's been. 108 inches wide. It's a black squiggle with the, is it grey, the line on it? Like a soft grey, soft pencil grey. On the picture on the website, it what? Oh, right, on the website, it looks grey. It's been photographed in a flash. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, the other backing. Now, the other day, when we had this on the first day, it sold out, right? Um, because a lot of people didn't buy it just for backing. In fact, didn't um, Catherine Wright buy some to make her daughter some clothes out of? But look, right now, it's 108 inches wide. That's half of it. That's half of it, look. So it's twice that width. Look at it. Oh, loads of you coming in. Loads of you coming in for that. It's a lovely quality cotton. You can make clothes out of it, dungarees out of it, shirts out of it, skirts out of it. Oh, sold, 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 sold. Sorry. Now, on Saturday, we've got this Lou Orth in on Saturday. Lou Orth, who's designed this, now we did this uh, with Emma Bradford this week. 29th, on the 29th of May. It's so simple. It's so simple. Very effective, but very, very simple. Is there anything on the back? Oh, yeah, there you go. 
but you can look, see you can do it like see this one's got the sprigs or the twig done in a different color there if you do it the same color as the backing that's what it looks like does baby lap and bed that's what the pattern does but you can make it any size you want because let me show you this is a block that's a block right so you can make it any color any size i mean obviously they have to be the leaves have to be the size that she says for it all to work but you can make it bigger or smaller wider or shorter the choice is yours 8.99 it's pattern only obviously pattern only beautiful she's on on saturday she's got one hour uh on Saturday, yeah, on Saturday. So she's at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Mark Francis is 9 and 11. And then Anakin, Anis is on doing the knitting at 12. And she's on at 10. Just one hour. Just one hour. She's bringing two brand new quilt patterns. And she's bringing all the samples of all the other patterns that we sell. Beautiful. Some what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there they are. There they are, yeah. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the one bag of H640's fallen off the table. Never mind. I'll go and get it. Yeah, we'll do. Right. Oh, let's, let's put the first one in. So the first one I'm doing is uh, VBYV45. Oh, you don't want... Oh, no, you don't want that code. Okay. Because they're different, aren't they? That's right, because they sent them up yesterday without the uh, this. So it's this one, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is Janice made this. Kissing fish. This god now. Don't try and read it like this, because you're making a book out of it. Oh, hang on, this one's slightly different. Oh no, no, no. 23rd of May, Janice, this is the one she demonstrated with the little uh, tails on there. You do get, it's a bundle, you do get your metre of your H640 in there as well. So you get the panel to make a book. Have we got a picture of the book? Have we got a picture of any books? We must have because, well, no, no, because people otherwise won't know what it makes. It makes a soft book that opens like that is there not a way we can do it not today obviously but put them in code so you put the code in because that jewelry make you just put the code in don't you and, the, and it get, brings the, the picture up is that not right oh okay 23.99 you keep you keep looking so you can see what book it makes it was only recently wasn't it Okay, so that's that one. Okay. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. All the instructions are pr printed on the panel. There you go. This one's a bit more obvious because you can see the pages, right? So what you do is you make each of them up and then you join them together and it makes a little book. See what I mean? So that one there that says, if kisses were leaves, I'd give you a forest, I'd give a forest of trees for you. And I'm presuming that it comes up next to, because that's the apple pie one. There you go. So that one comes next to that one there. They're, not, they're numbered. If wishes were raindrops, they'd shower you and me too. And you get the metre of your H640. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. Next one's a teapot. Mm -hmm. I've got pigs. I've got monkeys. Must be this one. Is it brown? Teapot. Oh. Yeah, they go. Teapot. 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 I'm a little teapot. Oh no. <laughs> No, I tried to read this the, on the other day and I got it all wrong, didn't I? There you go. I'm a little teapot, round and stout. 
here's my handle, here's my spout. Tip me over, pour me out. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Is that right? Teapot. Teapots don't shout, don't get steamed up, do they? Anyway, you get that and you get your H640 for $23.99. Oh, well done. Which one did you find? <laughs> no. Yeah. Farm animals now. That won't be monkey then, will it? No. Monkey farm. You get monkey farms, can't you? Oh, no, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? No, sorry, ignore that. No. <laughs> right, there you go. So this one is your um, farm animals. Cock-a-doodle-doo, I love you. What does a rooster say? What does he say? <laughs> what does the cow say? Well, where are the answers? Oh, there they go. Moo, moo, have a great day too. Rough, rough, the day is done. Nighty night, little one. Oink, oink, let splish splash in a mud bath. I don't remember this one when I was growing up. cock a doodle do. good morning to you. And look, the, the page turners are like the, um, well, that's not a foot, is it? That's a tail. Are they all tails? That's not a tail. That's a hoof. Anyway, £23.99. That's the panel plus the H640. Then I've got the... Oh, I've, got, I've got two more. Monkey one. Next. <laughs> What's some, Emma's making some very strange noises. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Are they not to you? I'm not talking to you, Emma. Oh. And then look, the legs. The legs are your page turners on that one. Shame they've spelt grey like that, though, isn't it? Yeah, unless you're American, that's it. And that's your monkey one. You do get your H640 with it, remember? And last but not least, yeah, I've got, we've got photos of one we've made up, so you can see what you get. But this is the last one. Are they gingerbread men on this one? Oh. <laughs> that looks like a gingerbread man, that one. You're adorable and cuddly. You're perfectly sweet. Your hugs and kisses are a perfect treat. Uh, your smiles and laughter bring me joy all day long. You are my shining star, perfect in every way. I love you more and me more each and every day. Oh, I'm going to miss one out. I missed that bit, page seven. Your voice is music to my ears. I have to sing a song. <laughs> oh, and I don't remember that one. Anyway, it must have been there. You get that one with your H640. Now, if you're wondering what they're for, the rainbow one is the one that Janice made for us on the day. And this is what it looks like when it's made up. Emma, go. There's the outside. Oh, it's in all sorts of orders. There's half a page. But anyway, you make a little book look, you see, out of it. Is that it? Oh, no, there you go. Ah. Oh. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Oh, look at the time. I haven't even got halfway through half the stuff. We can do the Liberty Christmas Fat Quarters because now we launched this, right? And at the end of the show, they were told that no one else in the whole country had it. We were the only people to have it. I don't know. 
27th. Remember, Susie was in with me on the Tuesday, and then she came. Susie came back in on the Thursday, and she did this with a cra uh, stir crazy. No, what's that? What's that ruler called? Yeah, stir crazy. Uh, scrap crazy. Scrap crazy. She made a really lovely table runner with it. So these are now available elsewhere, obviously, because it wasn't the launch anymore, but very limited to uh, who's got them at the moment. This is the new Liberty Christmas collection. And in this bundle, that can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fat quarters. 18 fat quarters. How much is a fat quarter? They're beautiful. Such Ti They're timeless Christmas, aren't they? They're timeless Christmas. Beautiful, aren't they? At £67.99 for 18. You see, three how much? Three seventy-seven for a Liberty fat each for a fat quarter. They, that's not right because if you go to Liberty and see how much their fat quarters are, beautiful. That's ribbons. Look, that's little Christmas trees, stars, and is that candles? What are they then? Big stars, big red stars, big green stars. Oh, look at that one. And then you've got your very classic baubles. Oh, okay, single figures on this one. Single figures now on this one. Right, if we get it back, I'm not sure if we'll do fat quarters again. But also, that's way too affordable. I'm not allowed to say cheap. That's way too affordable for 16. 18, 18 fat quarters. They're so liberty, aren't they, as well? They're beautiful, sorry. Anna likes the Dove ones best. So I like those candles. They're lovely, aren't they? Aren't they just lovely? But single thick, I love that one as well. It's got metallic in it as well, that one. And then you've got your bauble. Okay, let's go closer. There you go. And then you've got your baubles, your traditional baubles. How lovely is that? How beautiful. That's nice as well, isn't it? That rich green with the ribbons on it. Liberty. We must have the um, table runner. Oh, maybe we haven't. Gorgeous. Sixty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. We're going for a break now. Cara's up after break. She's going to be making this bag. It's a Beth Studley design. Oh, we didn't get to reverse plan. Oh, we didn't get to Susie's bag. Oh, there's so much. We'll have to do another kit roundup next week, won't we? Uh, I'll see you in a four minutes from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out you will only pay one pmp even if you check out multiple times in one day keep up to date with what's on sewing street and yarn lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters for Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Street's and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. How cute is this little bag here? It's called the Easy Bow Bag from Beth Studley. It's got a lovely little hidden, well not hidden, but it's got a little box pleat in there. Really lovely. It's got the denim on the outside and then the lining on the inside, the lovely Tula pink lining on the inside. Got three different bundles now. Unfortunately, you've not been able to see on the website what they are because it's just got a description and one pitch, hasn't it? So listen carefully and I shall begin. Where did that come from? It's gone quite warm in here again now, isn't it? I'll get um, Emma to turn the aircon back on. So I'm going to start with this one, first of all. Now, this one on the website that you can see. Did we sort out the fabric bundles on these, then? OK, that's my... OK, that's the pattern on its own. We put the, put the pattern in first. Right, let's just, let's just do this, then. I've got the pale denim on this one. The pale denim, I've got, yeah, pale denim, light blue denim. You get two metres of fabric, a metre of each, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, metre of each. You get the pale blue denim. Now, you will have lots of that left over because the denim is so wide. Then you need a full, you've got a full metre of your pandemonium fabric from Tula Pink. Plus, you've got your instructions. Oh, okay, there's no, sorry, there's no image, and that will make you this one. Oh, oh, what's happened? Look, Carol, the telly's all frozen. Our tellies are all frozen <laughs> in here. Yeah. I'll carry on, but I now can't see anything, Hannah. Everything's frozen. Right, okay, so um, just, well, we'll see what happens now. Right, so that's that one. Then I've got the mid-blue one. Can you get Elliot to come in and sort this out, please? Yeah. Then I've got the medium blue one, which is this one here. Uh, oh, oh it's, it's cleared itself. They're all cleared. They're all cleared. They're all cleared. Twenty-five ninety-nine. You get the instructions. You get a meter of the denim and a meter. And now I don't know what this is. This is lovely. This is. I think this is made by. Do you remember we did that lovely? Yeah. Look at the width of the fabric. No, you're going to have loads. You're going to have loads. Right, I've only got half a metre here. No, 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 I haven't, no, I haven't, no, I haven't, no, I haven't, no, I haven't. There you go. There you go. You get loads of that. You do need a full metre of fabric to do the lining with, though, because of the hidden box pleats. But look, it's lovely and wide, isn't it? That's medium. That's your medium one. So if you're looking on the website and it says, says medium bag, that's the one you're getting. A metre of the denim, medium denim a metre of the yellow fabric and your instructions, 25 99 So when you look on the website, that's the medium one. And then the dark one is this one here. So this one, you get a metre of your dark denim, a metre of your hearts. This is the one I've only been sent half a metre, but you'll get a metre of that at home. So a metre and a metre plus your instructions. So that's the dark denim. So now, so you can't mix the um, fabric. So if you've got the dark, you get the hearts. The medium, you get your, the yellow flowers. And the light, you get the Tula Pink Pandemonium. £29.99. £29.99. Metre, metre instructions. I don't think you need anything else. Um, medium interfacing. Oh, that's right. Medium weight interfacing. And it didn't get sent up from the warehouse today. So that's fine. But you need medium weight interfacing, which we were saying in the last hour that Cara was on is very low in stock. And how much do you need? Do you um, it's a piece to... Oh, it tells you exactly how much you need. 
60 centimeters. Oh, so you'll thing. need one, you'll only need one, one packet, pack. one, yeah, packet one packet of packet. the uh, interfacing. Yeah. Instructions on their own. Six pound fifty. It's called the Easy Bow Bag from Beth Studley. The finish size is 13 by 17 cent uh, inches. Skill level medium. Simple bag. Uh, this is a simple to make tote bag with a bit of extra detailing and shape. Designed to have more of a handbag feel than the average tote bag. It, also, it is also more sturdy and structured and is big enough to hold an A4 pad and will fit much more than the basic handbag items. It's also very cute and there are endless options with fabric combinations and bow placements. There you go. So what, the reason they put a metre of each fabric in is you only need three quarters of a metre of each one, but obviously we only do it by the half metre and 60 centimetres of interfacing. And there's something else that Cara will talk about later. Oh, okay, right. So if you go to the web, oh, should we show it or just say it? Right. If you go to the website, right, go on to the uh, Today Show deals. There's the three uh, options, right? If you click on, say, which one are you going to click on? The middle one there. If you put, click on the middle one, look, the, the, when it says what's included, there are the fabric details and pictures there. Were they always there? Are they always there? Okay. Okay. Right. So that's if you want to look at the fabrics. This is if you just want the pattern on its own. Okay. Should we make it? I hope so. Yeah, come on then. You I said it was so. simple this morning. Yeah. Um, love Beth's bags. Really, really nice. And that is such a nice one. You know, it, it's sort of useful for this time of the year. Yeah. For, you know, putting your phone in. Your, if you've got a laptop, I think. Your bottle. Yeah. <laughs> just really, really roomy. But really nice. Definitely. Yeah. So, yes, it says an easy bow bag. Um, and I would say it is pretty easy. It's quite a lot of straight seams. So um, not anything too complicated. There is a box bottom. So that gives the structure. And also what you can do is if you wanted to, you could use um, H640. Oh, okay. To make it more, um, the more body to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the medium into it interfacing is the one that I've used on there. Okay, brilliant. I love the fabrics, absolutely love the fabrics. Yep. So the panda one and also the heart one, I'm not sure about the other fabric, is directional. Oh, okay. So what um, the first thing that I would suggest is that when she um, gives you all the information about cutting, which is included here, is I would actually, for the, um, the feature fabric, she says, do one rectangle eight by 27 inches uh -huh. for the outer body of the bag. That's fine. The yellow one is directional as well. Oh, okay. That's fine if it's a non-directional fabric. Right. If it is a directional fabric, I'd cut it slightly longer and then you would put a seam in. So right. you've got your hearts going and if you look at that one, your pandas aren't upside down at the back. On Inside? The, on, no. Oh, on, we, the oh, on the back. Oh, on the back of there. So Turned <laughs> it backwards. Uh, come on, there you go. So you're oh, I see. Yes, I yeah. see. So you've seamed at the bottom. I've seamed at the bottom. And so, so they're both facing in. Yes. Got it. So got you've it. got your hearts. So on this one, I've got my hearts going upwards yeah. and going upwards there because this is the bottom of the bag. Uh -huh, so that's the only um, sort of hint and tip that I would give, really, if you've got a directional fabric. OK. Um, you may need to trim a little bit of the fabric off at the top and the bottom. So you've got enough of it anyway yes. to do that. So yes, fine. you've definitely got enough of it. And I've actually done the same, I'm afraid, for the um, lining. I didn't want the pandas upside down in oh. the lining. That's fine. <laughs> so I did the same with the lining, same with the heart fabric as well. Just yeah. do a seam across the bottom. So where she says 27 inches, just make it 27 and a half if you've got a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a bit unsure, then make it 28 and you can also trim the extra off. Of course. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll cut all your pieces out and then you'll right sides together. You'll go down this long seam here. And that's a quarter of an inch. And when you've done that, you'll actually press your seam to the dark side. So right. the dark side of the denim. Uh -huh. OK, so I'm going to do that. If I can find my other piece of fabric. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. That simple bag. That simple bag that... What have you lost? The denim. Denim. Oh, denim. <laughs> it's on the table. Sorry. 
there we go. So all I'm going to do is do a quarter of an inch seam, right sides together, and use this lovely machine. Uh huh. The five really seventy nice. A. Really, really nice. I think for doing um, projects and things like this, it's just so lovely. The machine I've got at home is quite old now, and I haven't got some of the features that are on here. Mm. So um, this is really nice, and I love the fact that it's got all the um, cards at the side. With well, it's the got 200 stitches, stitches built in. 200? Yeah. <coughs> There's 200 stitches wow. plus the two um, alphabets. Wow. So it's really already good. built in, and it's got a thread cutter, it's got a memory, it's yep. got shortcuts to um, overcast stitching and everything, yeah. and shortcuts to buttonholes. It, I think it's got about eight buttonholes on it as well. Yes, it, it's lovely, and it's quite light as yeah. well. So 5.7, 5.8 kilos. The size <laughs> I'm of impressed. A, the size of a large cat. <laughs> the weight of a large cat. How do you know that? Because I've learnt it. Oh, there you go. Who who decided to compare it with the weight of a cat? Jane from Elm. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, that seems a bit wobbly. Just going to tighten that up. Okay. Oh, I bet there's not a screwdriver in this one. Just oh. going to tighten that up. I'll tighten that by hand. Okay. okay. Hopefully it'll be okay. If you want um, one, just let me know and I'll yeah, find one. Yeah, no, that's, I, I would hope, unless it goes flying across the room. So, um, just going to do a reverse stitch at the top and the bottom, just to hold the fabric. So needle down, Ooh. and then do a few, thank you very much, do a few stitches and then reverse. I will just tighten that up. That's it. And as I say... Don't you be putting that screwdriver in your handbag. Sorry? Don't be putting that screwdriver in your handbag. It's for Jane's show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Would I do a thing like that? Yes. Really? You don't know me very well, John. Oh, I know you very well, <laughs> Cara Delavine. Oh, All those showbiz do. parties you go to. I've you seen do you make me with a laugh. Bag. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no, I don't wish at the moment. No. It's very strange, actually. There's more and more Caras around. Yeah. So it is quite, um, you know, when you have somebody who's famous who's got the name Cara, it's, um, I'm not well, You're famous now. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm a, a lovely... All right, infamous then. Yeah, excited sewer. Oh. <laughs> not famous. What doesn't count as famous? <laughs> oh, oh, did you hear what she said? No, what did she say? She Tell said me. Crime Watch doesn't count as being famous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Hannah. Have you seen me on there? On the identity parade? Yes, <laughs> on the reconstructions. Oh. <laughs> Where did that one come from? I don't know. She's <laughs> in one of those moods today. Well, she's had a bit of a break, hasn't she? She's yeah. got what? She's in the habit of what, Cara? She's had a bit of a break, not in yes. the habit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A I bit? Six days? I don't I could know what she's doing. only dream of six days off. <laughs> I haven't even got six days off in the whole month. When's your next holiday? When's your next Oh, week? I don't know. Aww. I don't know. Obviously, I'm filling in for Vix's maternity yes. at the moment. So when Vix starts coming back, that'll make it a bit easier. Yes. But I haven't got a holiday, holiday book, sadly. No. Well, we we missed our trip to San Diego in of October. Course. Yeah. And when Mike, my brother, is praying that we get to go there this October, yes. but I don't know how likely that is. Mike's also got a house in Spain. So if they open the borders to Spain, then I'll be able to go there. Yes. Will it, would he come over to Spain if he could? Oh, he, he lives here. Oh, he lives in yeah, the UK. Yeah, he lives here. Oh, okay. And so okay. We, just, we just go over to his house Oh, in Spain. nice. Very nice. No, I'm really missing not seeing my sister. She lives in America. Oh, yes, of course. And um, obviously she hasn't been able to come over. No. And we've not been able to go over there. But um, when I spoke to her the other day, she said that things are, you know, doing okay in the States yeah. with COVID and everything. So... That was encouraging. There was a thing on, um, oh, oh, what's that lovely boy called? He's filling in for Vanessa on the show at the moment. At, um, Ori, is he called Ori Oro, who won Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, okay. as a TV presenter. Anyway, he was reading out all different people's messages today, and it was a man who, um, his son was getting married in New York, and he couldn't go. Oh. And they put it off and put it off and put it off, and they just went, oh, we've just got to do it now. So they oh. were getting married, and he, his son was... Um, over in New York and he wasn't able to go and see oh, him. Oh, goodness. Well, George, my brother's middle child, it was his graduation in San Diego this week and they couldn't go to they that They couldn't either. go? No. Oh, gosh. 
No, it's it's occasions like that that you know you're never going to get that again. Yeah. That time again. So. So um, now you're pressing the uh, seam. Are you pressing that to the dark or the light? I'm going one? to be pressing it to the light, but I start by pressing it the other way yeah. so that the seam lies flat, and then. Sounds awful, doesn't it? Press it to the dark side. I do. <laughs> because we're going to make the pleats next. That's going to be the next part. Oh, this is a steamy iron. As long as it doesn't steam my glasses up, I'll be okay. No, exactly. <laughs> Julie, the pandas are in the light, in the light one. We call it light, yeah, the light blue is the one with the pandas. So it's light blue for pandas, medium blue for yellow florals, and dark blue for the one that Cara's working on with the hearts. But the pandas definitely in the light one. Look at more details on the, if you've got the website open, look at more details on the website, we'll show you there. So I'm uh, just going to press this seam over. I think the iron that I had on in the green room wasn't uh, steaming very well. So I'm just going to press that over. Okay. Right, so the next thing is to actually do the um, pleat. And I want to bring the instructions over. I love the fact, it's like this dark denim. I love the fact that you've just got that tiny little bit showing through, yes, which yeah. is really nice. And then that ties in with the bow mm -hmm. and then it ties in with the, the lining. lining yeah. It's so sort of um, effective. So what you're going to do is right sides together and match your seams. So match the seam at the top, mm -hmm. like that. Pop a pin in to hold the seams. Make sure that all your fabric's lying nice and flat. We do the same at the bottom. So again, match your seams. And then you're going to measure down two and a half inches. And um, the instructions are very, very clear here. It does give you very um, detailed instructions. Uh -huh. So two and a half inches. I'm going to use my friction pen again. Friction pen's on the website. Oh, an array of colours. <laughs> right. So Emma, could you put the aircon on, please? That's right. Two and a half inches down there. Again, I'm just going to pop another pin in so that we the seam stays. So why are you marking down two and a half inches? This is um, the pleat at the top. If you look at the bag, yeah, it's actually joined at the top. Of oh, the bag to at the stop front. The, the pleat completely yes. gaping. It's yes. stitched, stitched down. The yep. Sorry, there, stitched down at the top there. So again, two and a half inches. And then what you're going to do is follow the seam that you've already done. Yeah. And you're going to machine down to that two and a half inches. Okay. So top and bottom. Take my pin out. Oops. There's loads and loads of the um, denim because it is so wide. Yeah. That's so nice because you'll be able to sort of make, if you've got um, different fabric of at course. home, oh you'll yeah. be able to make lots of different things with the, the denim that's left over, which is nice. So you're literally sewing down the seam. Yeah. Yeah. So where my stitches have already been. Yeah. I'm just sewing down there again. Ooh, it's not moving. You all right? Yeah. Because I think I've got, uh, it's quite thick there. Scissors. Start that one again. And you'll choose a thread, you know, to match your fabrics. Um, if you're happy changing the color of your thread, then, you know, you can do um, a navy one when you're stitching the denim and just a light coloured thread when you're stitching the cotton fabric. Yep. No, it's not moving. Take the, um, switch it, switch the machine off. Off and on again. Yeah. 
I bet I've pressed something that I <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't have pressed. Have I know. No? no. Right, let me just do a recap yep. of your bundles. While uh, Cara has a look at that, I've just got to turn you back up again. Right, the light denim one is this one here. So you get a metre of your denim. You get a metre of your um, pandemonium from Tula Pink. And you get your instructions. All of that for £29.99. That's the finished bag there. We're all right, we're all right. I'll just do the three ground ups, then we'll go back to Cara. So that's your light one. The light one only comes with the pandemonium fabric. Then the medium colour. Most popular is the medium. So you get the most fabric and it's the most affordable. Uh, yeah, you're not getting extra fabrics just because it's what this is wider and that's very wide. $25.99 means you get a metre of the denim, a metre of the yellow, plus... The, there's a medium colourway color way on this one, plus your uh, instructions. £25.99. And, and then, last but not least, the one that Cara's working on is the dark one with the hearts. And again, you get a metre of the denim, you get a metre of the hearts, plus the instructions. £29.99. And then the instructions on their own. Maybe you've got your own denim or your own fabric. Because you don't have to use denim, do you? You could use any fabric for this, couldn't yeah, you, Cara? Definitely. Pattern on its own, £6.50. Mm? Oh, once you've all checked out your baskets, this will have sold out. Just so you know. £6.50. Righty -o. We'll go back to the today's machine wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm going what? to um, actually do some unpicking. Oh, why? Because I haven't put my interfacing on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I got so carried away with doing the pleats. It's only two and a half inches, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. not, not there's only at all. There's only two of the shavers left, I think, anyway. Unless they're hidden, unless you've hidden them away somewhere. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, no, don't apologise. It's something we all do. Carried away. It? Yeah. I just suddenly thought, hmm, I'm sure there's something I've missed here. So you cut your um, piece of interfacing and she gives you the size 23 and a half by 27 inches, approximately. Right. right. Um, but I'll show you how I normally do my interfacing. I don't know how other people do it. But, right. Um, I find the way I've done it sort of works quite well, so... Um, I've stuck with that. Having said that, the luck I'm having today... Yes, <laughs> anything could go wrong. Anything could happen. She said when we started this morning... Oh, it's so She went, oh, this is such a simple project. <laughs> oh, oh, I might not fill the time in it. Yeah. Yeah. Tempting fate, that's called, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It will serve me right. Serve me right. No, not at all. <laughs> But no, it's something, it's, it's, we all do it, we all, Janice did a project last week that was all full of darts, a couple of weeks ago, that was all full of darts, and she started binding it, and I was thinking, cracky, it's only quarter past, she's going to finish early, and then she went, she went to bind it, and I said, do you do the darts afterwards then? She was like, <laughs> oh, and it's, the whole project was all about darts, she won't mind me oh, saying. Oh, bless saying. her, oh gosh, no, I'm, seriously, you know, you can tell it's live, can't you, because yeah. if it wasn't live, then we'd cut this bit out, wouldn't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, uh, yeah, it'll be all right Maybe it was the machine. When, it, when the machine wouldn't go into it, it was going, don't sew me yet because you haven't put your interfacing exactly. in yet. Exactly. It was telling me yeah. you haven't done your interfacing. So. Right. So we're back to there then. Back to there. I've cut my fabric approximately 23 and a half by 27. So this is the medium weight interfacing. And you want the sticky side, obviously, on the wrong side of the fabric. Yeah. And I use a cloth. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually start adhering it and not go right to the edge because I want to be able to trim the edge and I don't want any of the interfacing on Elliot's nice no. new. He would not be happy. No. He'd say, Who, who's done that? And he wouldn't, John he would wouldn't be use such polite terminology, I don't think. <laughs> And John would be very happy to say it was Cara. Yeah. 
So I've just got a piece of fabric. just to start it sticking. Lovely. Thank you. You're at home, would you do it on your ironing board? Yes. yes. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you just want to make sure that you don't actually put the, um, the sticky side on your ironing board, which is what I've done in the past, which is why I've ended up doing it this way. Yeah. Um, I just found it much, much safer. Yeah, of course. And protects the ironing board as well. Bernie so says, Cara, it's lovely. Her oh. demos are lovely and the chat is lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I'll pay you later. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, it's all nearly missed you. I'm just back from physio. Oh. Oh, and Jackie says she's just found out Dave's in a ward that's not allowing visitors so she can't go and see him. Oh, Oh, Jackie. no. What oh, we'll have to do, Jackie, is we'll have to send him messages via here because he'll have us on his iPad, wouldn't he? So you give us a message and we'll pass it on yes. today for you. Yeah. Oh, that's such a shame. Such a shame. Right. So, once I've got it started, again, I'm not going to go right to the edge. You can see my piece is slightly bigger. I did cut it slightly bigger. Because uh -huh. I think with a big piece of interfacing like this, um, it's easy to have it off skew. Yeah. So, just, I'm only just getting it started. Then I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to press it again. Okay. I don't know. Does anybody else do it that way? What's don't know. Does anyone do it that way? Yeah, I was going to say, has anybody got any other hints and tips about um, attaching iron on interface into a large piece of fabric? Yeah. It'd be lovely to hear. So, you can see that it's sort of getting stuck. Yeah. Um, again, I want to make sure that those seams are all the way over. <laughs> We've got a non uh, what's it question now. Not say what's the word I'm looking for. What is the name of the radio channel Cara listens to, please? Kistery. 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 Yeah. Kistery. Oh my goodness! If I got it in the car, <laughs> I can get completely carried away and just want to carry on driving. Yeah. That was a strange So how do you question. find it on the car radio? On the car radio? Car radio, no, <laughs> on the car radio. <laughs> oh, it's a car radio. Oh, do you have it on your phone? Um, no, it's on, I've got, um, uh, it is a digital one. Oh, you've got a digital radio Digital car, radio, right? yeah. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I, cha I changed my car a year or so ago because um, my other one got uh, written off. Oh? Coming back from sewing quarter. Really? On my birthday. Oh, no, I didn't know that. I oh, know, I didn't tell anybody. It was oh, awful. <laughs> telling us now. <laughs> oh, how awful. Yeah, I mean, it was an old car, so it wasn't no, horrendously no, but damaged. Not, but and you were um, all right next I was fine. Yeah. I was absolutely fine. But it meant that I needed to get a new car, so. Oh. So I did get a digital radio. <laughs> right. Right. So, I'm going to trim the interfacing off. Just drop that bag on the floor, Carol. So. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I can never get these off. They're so handy, though, aren't they? Yeah. Are they for kitchens, those um, hooks? Do you think? Mm? They're for kitchens. I think mainly. so, yeah. Yeah. So you'll see that the interfacing isn't adhered right at the edge, but you can see where I've done it. Um, we're not right up to the edge of the fabric. So uh -huh. I'm just going to trim it off to make sure that I don't get it on the iron. So this was quite an important bit that I was going to miss, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that your roach cutter? Or it I is, and I did change the blade the other day. So it should be okay. And this just gives the bag a bit of body. Yeah. And I think that's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were putting H640 in it, would you put uh, this in as well? No, okay. I don't think so. No, I'd just put the H640 onto the back as we've done here. Yeah. And I do it in a similar way um, because sometimes, especially if you're um, ironing through denim, mm -hmm. um, the heat doesn't go right the way through to the... Um, the glue on the H640. Right. So that's why a cloth's really good. Oh, yeah, Because you can have, um, you know, your cloth on there for a bit longer. 
Cara looks like she was a rock chick in her younger days. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. She could still be a rock chick. I'm not a rock chick. I'm a funky soul girl. Soul girl. <laughs> Not a rock. I don't like rock music. I'm a raid. Oh, bless. <laughs> <laughs> I do love music, though. Music can change your mood oh, so totally. much. I, um, the weather was quite nice the other day, and I'm not into gardening much. No. And um, I needed to go into the garden, and the only way I could do it was um, put my music on my... Um, I, I, an MP4 player and just do it. And I think I had the music on for about three hours oh. and it was just lovely. Did you get any gardening done then? Yeah, we, we um, because we've been on holiday, we wanted to get pots done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the um, plants and everything. My husband's the gardener. Oh, okay. He's, um, has an allotment and oh, wow. everything, yeah. So. I've just repotted my sunflower that Hannah bought for me. Oh, fantastic. It's is it growing well? Now. Hmm? Is it growing well? Uh, when, when Hannah gave it to me, it was about this tall. It's about that tall now. Excellent. But it was getting a bit bored because it was in the tiniest of pots. So obviously, wherever Hannah got from, made just done seedlings. So yes. I put it in a nice big pot now. But it was inside. It's now outside. Isn't it lovely to start seeing a lot of the plants yes, coming definitely. through? Yes, so. definitely. Right, so I'm happy now that I've got the um, interfacing so I'm going to go straight onto the denim and this is because I've cut it this should be fine for the um, not getting it onto your iron yeah famous last words so we don't have to protect it so much now and then we'll do the pleats oh really yes On simple what a bag. surprise <laughs> So we've not had any uh, feedback on the best way to No, put none at all. Oh. We've got how long did you say? Okay. Are we okay? Oh, got a message from Julie. Nothing to do with interfacing, though. It says, hi, John. I'm just going for my second jab, and I'm going to use this excuse to lie down and watch all things Sewing Street that I've missed. Love, Excellent. Julie. Don't blame you, Julie. Excellent. I don't blame you at all. I was, uh, after my first job, I had to drive to Western Superman, then I can't remember what I did after my second one. I oh, came in here, didn't I? I was in here the next day. Right. Right. Rewind. <laughs> so, sorry, how long have we got, did you say? Got ten minutes left oh, on there, Oh, goodness. It's because we have to go to Yarn Lane, you see, so... Oh, um, goodness. Sorry, guys. That's all right. You'll do it. <laughs> what, ten minutes? Huh? In ten minutes? Yep. <laughs> but I got a little bit longer than that. No, that clock's not always right. Oh. That one, I'm afraid. Right. Okay. So, needle down. Of course, because I've um, ironed that, the friction, friction pen pen's marked gone. Marks gone. So you get to mark two and a half inches down. Yes. <laughs> That's a nice shot, Emma. <laughs> Let's do the same at the bottom. I can't believe this. I thought, oh, yeah, there'd be no problem. I'll get it all done. It's always the way, though, isn't it? Yes. Always with something the way. that, um, you know, you think's not going to take you too long. Still would have taken a bit of time had I not. It was only a couple of minutes Don't when worry. I had to undo because you've got the um, interfacing as well just give it a little bit of an extra hand going through the um, machine yeah okay And then I'll talk you through, I'll show you how to do the um, pleats. And like I say, it's just so effective just seeing that small area of um, the fabric showing through, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Mm. 
just a reverse stitch at the bottom um, because obviously that's going to be the area that's going to have a bit of wear and tear. Then when you've done that, and again this is shown very clearly, I'm just here, you're going uh -huh. to press that open and match the center of your um, feature fabric to the center. Or yeah, so you're creating a box pleat, aren't you, with the um, background yes. fabric? Yes, yeah. So that's like that. Pin, I won't spend time getting the clips. There. And the same at the other end. And at this stage, I would actually spend a bit of time actually pressing the um, seam open that you've created there right. um, flat. Mm -hmm. Because although you've pressed it and you've pressed it to the wrong side, uh, not the wrong side, the dark side, um, I would t spend a bit of time just um, making sure that that's nice and sharp. Uh -huh. Maybe use some best press or something. It might be quite nice if it's denim as well to maybe use a top, put a top you stitch in it. You could put a top you? stitch, definitely. So then make your stitch a little bit longer because you're just going to be holding that pleat in position. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, when we first, uh, we did a box pleat with Adele on, um, in dressmaking at the weekend. And when, we, when I was training, when we did a box pleat, after we'd done the bit that you're doing now, we had to hand tack the whole box pleat down. Really? Until the whole project was finished, then release yes. the tacking stitches. Yes, yes. Just stops it moving anyway, doesn't That's it? That's right. I mean, if you, as I say, if you spend a bit of time at this stage, just making sure that everything's nice and um, flat and you press it. Um, uh, Christine's got a question for you. Oh, not about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not about this. Hang on then. Hi, John. Is the New World Tapestry actually woven tapestry or is it just a printed ordinary cotton? I know you didn't have time to show it. Right. It's not just a printed cotton. It's a heavier weight. It's not tapestry. Uh, it's not got... It's, it's made to like tapestry, but it's a, like a much thicker furnishing fabric. But it's not tapestry tapestry. There's no loose threads on the back. It's actually... It's actually got a backing on it. So it's not a cotton weight. It's much heavier than a normal cotton weight. Um, I'll just wait there. I'll go and get some. Take me out of the box, sorry. I'll go and get some so I can show you quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's holding the pleat in position. Yeah. And as I say, spend a bit of time then um, pressing. And then you'll make handles. I've only made one of the handles, but at least I can show you what to do. Yeah. So I can't find the other one. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm really not. You lost the handle? Yeah, I've lost the handle. I did um, while you're doing that, I'll just show Christine this. Christine, yeah. so this is the front of the fabric. This is the front of the fabric. And then the back of the fabric is like this. So it is a woven fabric, but it's not, it's heavier than, it's not this weight. It's not our quilting weight fabric. It's a heavier weave. So it is woven, but it's not like tapestry. You know, tapestry would have the threads all hanging off the back. Because lots of people use the back of the fabric as well as the front. So I just thought I'd show you very quickly. And Hannah says she's sorry we didn't get to, to show it all. Just ran out of time today. It's going to be the uh, answer of the day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so sorry, whilst you were talking, yeah, that's um, right. you can do the side seams. Yeah. So just machine down. Oh, you lit it's, it's a fold at the bottom, you just literally. It is a fold at the bottom, yeah. but you do the um, box bottom. Yeah. And with the handles, I'll show you the handles. I can't believe that I've dropped the other one somewhere. <laughs> oh, Hannah will have it somewhere. <laughs> I think we've got a little gremlin yeah. who's gone round and taken things. So I'm just sewing down each side. So you can see it's a lot of straight stitching, which yeah. is nice, really, really nice. And the way that you make the handles is the w very similar to the way that you'll make the bow. Right. So the technique is the same. So mm -hmm. I can show you that. Ooh. Oh, 
<laughs> maybe I that's why it wasn't going very maybe. fast. Maybe. Put it a little bit faster. It's a lovely, responsive machine, though. Yeah. Yeah, really good. So I've done down both sides. Mm -hmm. And then with the handle, if I could find the other one. I'll find it when I... Um, when you finish. Yeah. Um, you'll cut a piece of fabric and um, they give all the um, sizes and everything in the instructions on the back here. So the handles are um, three and a half inches by 23 inches. Along the long edge, right sides together, your machine. Mm -hmm. Then you'll press that seam open and then your seam actually goes into the middle right. of the handle, yep, yep. which is nice. So that's going to be on the inside of the bag. So when you attach the handles, the handles are going to be placed two inches from the edge. So we'll get another mark. So two inches from the seam. There. Uh -huh. And there. And that's quite a nice because it's got it's got quite a, a wide opening then. Yeah. And then you'll um, place your handle so your seam is on the inside, and your handle will be positioned like that. Perfect. Okay. And you'll make two of the handles. Mm -hmm. Make Obviously. sure that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like me, just make one. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, make sure it's not twisted. So you want that seam, again, still on the inside. Yeah. And then you'll position the other end of that handle on the other side. And again, you can actually machine that, mm -hmm. okay? Um, to do the box bottoms, you will open your seam. And again, there's very clear instructions here. Perfect. Sorry, can't see that. Yeah. It's there. Okay, and you'll open the bag so that the seam is down the centre. I will have pressed that before, but yeah. I haven't pressed it here. And then you'll measure three inches. So put your ruler, if you've got a, ru a marked ruler like this, you want the one and a half inch to be on that centre seam there. Okay. And then you'll just draw a line across like that, like that, pop a pin in. Have I got time to machine this? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. hurry up, hurry up. No, 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 <laughs> no. I, just, I, I know you're, you're like, you like to finish everything. I know. So you'll do that on both sides and yep. that makes your box bottom. Perfect. Your um, lining is structured in exactly the same way to make the box bottoms there. Yeah. There is an opening at the side, not at the bottom, oh, at okay. the side. Yeah. Then you'll put right sides together. Once you've machined in your handles, right sides together. Yeah. And um, machine all the way around the top. And then you, you can do um, some top stitching as well, which finishes it off nice and cool. neatly. And then the bow is exactly the same. You're still looking for that strap, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the bow's exactly the same. So you have a strip of fabric. You will um, machine it along the long edge. And again, just be aware of the direction of your um, of course, yeah. fabric. And you'll do the same with the tie there. You'll put your uh, right sides together, so the seams on the outside. You'll machine down there, and then right. turn it all the way round. Uh -huh. And your seam will actually be on the back of the bow. Yes. Like that. Do the same with that, so right sides together machine along there, turn mm -hmm. it all the way around, and then you'll feed this. Oh, okay, oh, that's, okay. Through that. Yep. that. So and you've made a loop, basically. Yeah. You're gonna feed your bow through the yeah. loop. Yeah, and as I say, just be aware, I wanted the heart on yep. the um, front of the bow there, like that. And then you can either stitch that to the front of your bag, or you can use a brooch. Okay, so where did you get your brooch stick from? Um, I got mine from Jewellery Maker. There you go. Now, Jewellery Maker is our sister channel. It, I'll show you it here. This is what it looks like. It looks like a gold, sort of a rose gold coloured safety pin. Can you see that, Emma? Oh, I know. Let me show you. Can you see behind there? 
So it's, it's, uh, the thing is nice about having the thing is you could have it detachable, so you can have it with the bow or without the bow, yes, depending on your mood. Really. Or you can make the bow that. a little bit big if you wanted to. Yeah. Cara, thank you. Sorry to rush you at the end there. That's okay. Sorry, uh, I didn't get it finished. When are you next then? Twentieth uh, of, of June. June. I, I don't know what that no, day is. Well, it's a day after a very special day. Uh, we're doing a whole that? weekend. What's doing a whole that? weekend of it. Cara's back for my birthday weekend on the nineteenth. Well, she's on the twentieth. We're doing the nineteenth. So you're coming in on Sunday. Is it? Yeah. Is it a Sunday? It okay, is. coming in on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Right, kits. Right, light one first is this one. So you get a metre of the denim, you get a metre of the panda, and you get the uh, instructions, £29.99. That's your light version. Okay, oh, sorry. Five tune for us. There you go, that's the light one there, £29.99. Metre, metre pattern. The medium one, which was the most popular one, not sure if it still is, we'll see now. You get a metre of the denim, fewer than 20 of these now, metre of the denim, metre of the yellow fabric, which is gorgeous, and your uh, instructions, 25 99 for that one. Then we've got the dark one, which is the one that Cara was just working on then. So you get a metre of your dark denim, you get a metre of your heart fabric and your instructions. I'm gonna say, I'm way ahead, sorry. Twenty nine ninety nine. So that's the metre of the dark denim, a metre of the hearts, and your yeah, uh, instructions. Twenty nine ninety nine. There are three other um, Beth Studley patterns on the website underneath us on pre order. If you'd like to come in and get those, the only reason we're rushing is we've got to go off to off to your lane. I do need to do this very quickly. Today's early bird was eighty twenty wadding. 80% cotton, 20% polyester, wadding by the half metre. It's a pound off. Now, it cuts, you don't just get a half metre. You order it by off the bolt. So if you want three metres, you put six units in. If you want four metres, you put eight units in, like that. Um, so many. Uh, early bird this morning, we sold hundreds of those. So I just wanted to give you a quick shout-out before we go to Yarn Lane. Right, I have to do tomorrow's menu, which is... Uh, Wendy's in tomorrow. Uh, here are the instructions. Sally Ann Quilt's makeup bag at eight o'clock. Fabrics and tool at nine. William Morris stand it. Oh, that's lovely, that one. That William Morris quilt, I've seen it. Then Jane Brogan is in, 11 and 12, doing the 780 sewing machine and the 720 sewing machine and the 664 overlocker. The 664 is an overlocker. So all of that tomorrow. Uh, now, uh, if you've if stayed where, where you are, if you're watching the telly, if you're on the internet, you need to go over to the Yarn Lane version. If you're on YouTube or Facebook or anything on our website, you need to go over to the Yarn Lane. <coughs> if you've already bought something from me this morning, your P&P is already paid for in the next hour. Um, but however, the, the projects that we've done here won't be appearing on, on Yarn Lane and the projects from Yarn Lane don't appear on here. I'll see you on Sewing Street on Saturday. If not, I'll see you the other side this break on Yarn Lane.